And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Hit Podcast. After hours edition, we're joining the full panel. Ladies, roll to Masi Marco Sartain. Hey. We got a lot to talk about. Let's get Let's into it, go. guys. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. To I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious, go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's time. All right, cool. And we are live. What's up, guys? Quick announcement before we get into the show. Number one, rumble.com slash fresh fit, guys. Go ahead and check us out over there. All the, uh, you know, crazy stuff that we can't necessarily do on YouTube. It's on Rumble. All the full streams are there as well. We're multi-streaming right now to Rumble, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and, of course, YouTube, as you guys know. So check us out over there, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Help us hit 100,000. And you can see the real Chris, the real fresh, the real Myron behind the scenes Mm. live on Rumble. Yes. Uh, uh, What are we at? Like 51K or something like that? Guys, get us to 100,000, right? Next. Freshfit.locals.com, guys. We're no longer on Patreon. We're now on Locals, guys. So if you guys want to check us out and go ahead and get uh, vaccine stuff with the live streams. We did a pre-show just now as well. Pre-shows, so, et cetera. After shows. All the Patreon content, it's on freshfit.locals.com. Also, guys, if you want to listen to us on audio only, we're on Megaphone. We're no longer on Anchor, Spotify, whatever. Fuck them. We're now on Megaphone, <laughs> goddammit. So if you guys want to listen to us on audio, check us out over there. We got two separate channels, one for Fresh Fit, one for Fresh Fit After Hours. Next, check us out on Discord, discord.gg slash freshfit, completely free to join. Go ahead and meet other guys like-minded from all over the world. Get the merch, freshfitpodcaststore.com, all the t-shirts, hoodies that you guys have come to learn. Our merch today, man. Chris is a bum t-shirt coming soon. Uh, And then also, uh, check out our YouTube channel, guys, Fresh and Fit Clips. Okay, guys? Um, And Chris, can we pull this thing up real quick? Guys, I hate that I have to repeat myself, but 75% of you guys that watch that channel are not not subbed. Stop being fucking ninja watchers and subscribe to the channel. It's very easy. Just hit that big red button on the right hand side. As you guys have seen, we've had some great guests on the show to include Rolo. He looks familiar. Yeah, who's that? Um, guy in the middle? You hit that. Well, it's white now. Hit it's that goddamn now. button. We post two clips and uh, no, is it three clips per day? Three clips per day and then two shorts. And two shorts. We post five videos on this bitch a day. So if you guys don't got time to watch a full on podcast, go ahead and check out the clips channel. Uh, we, we had that crazy clip where that girl was, you know, making fun of my hair. And then I said, okay, we'll step on the scale. And then she didn't want to step on the scale, which is hilarious. Uh, but, <laughs> oh yeah, we shoot back sometimes. Uh, but yeah, guys, all the viral clips are there uh, and all the shorts as well. Also, um, and shout out to Sneeko right there. Um, also, yes. guys, Fresh Prince CEO. Guys, here's my vlog channel. We posted a vlog yesterday as well um, regarding Sneeko. Nick Fuente. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Okay, go to videos, Chris. So yeah, we do daily vlogs here on this channel and then live streams as well. We're going to have a special guest, Polly, on Thursday for a live stream. I won't, say, I won't say who it is yet, but check it out, guys. We do uh, behind the scenes, live streams, all the fun stuff, blind dates. We got y'all, man. Told you get on the way. Let's go. Yeah, and we're going to get Nick Fuentes on the show, guys, now that we're on Rumble, as yeah. y'all know. Uh, very controversial individual, but hey, man, he makes some good points. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. You guys can get mad all you want, but he makes some very good points. Uh, and then check out my other YouTube channel, guys. It's Feta1811, as you guys know. I break down criminal cases here. I spent four, no, like eight hours. It was four hours long to film it. But I spent, um, it just hit, hit home, Chris. I spent four hours, the Zodiac Killer. Click that real quick. Guys, it's dropping tomorrow, 7 p.m. I went the entire fucking breakdown. Hit the timestamps real quick, Chris, so I can show the people. This is probably one of the most thorough serial killer cases I've ever broken down. I cover the first murder, second murder, all the, mur- all the predominant murders that he was uh, linked to. The suspects, everything. We break down. We look through the evidence. We look at 1969 interviews, police reports, all that shit. Very thorough. We go over um, the potential suspects. Remember, guys, this is the most infamous serial killer case in U.S. history. They never actually solved it, but I give my predictions on who I think the killer actually was. As you guys know, he went crazy in the Silicon Valley. Sorry, in the Bay Area in the early, late 1960s. He would kill people and then send codes and uh, letters to the mail and sorry, through the mail to the news and to the police officers. And to this day, they still have not solidified who he is. So I break down that case tomorrow for all you guys that love true crime. And uh, yeah. Oh, and then quick announcement. We got uh, here. Let me actually show this to y'all real quick on camera. I got some exclusive documents here. If you guys are wondering, this came from Memphis 
Tennessee. This is the Young Dolph case. I got a bunch of uh, documents for that. So that's going to be coming soon as well. You guys have been asking me for the Young Dolph case for a while. So it's coming your way probably in the next two weeks. Got it. some indictment paperwork, some exclusive stuff that no one else has. It was a pain in the ass to get, but we do have it. So you'll see it on FedEx. Anyway, long announcement there, but a lot of new <laughs> shit coming on FedEx, guys. All right. Send me DM on Aaron C. Pox on IG. Uh, shout out to the girls for sending me DMs. Uh, the past, I think, three weeks, we've, I've had tons of girls hit me up uh, wanting to come on to the show. Um, if you flake, best believe you're banned to the Shadow Realm. Uh, shout out to the team. Shout out to the girls for coming on to yeah, the panel. The I mean, it's what it is. I had one girl who was like, yo, I have a family emergency. I'm like, all right, well, it's not my, my, my family, so I don't care. Hey, listen. Damn, nigga. Last minute. I was like, hey, look. Sorry to say, man. They do all that. All of a sudden, they're in the club the next hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's uh, savage, bro. Shout out to Yo, let's make it happen. I see back there having a sleepover. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> God damn. Yeah. All right, but, Chris. Uh, but yeah, guys, subscribe to other channels, man. Freshman CEO, uh, um, Fed It, Fed It, uh, 1811. And then, of course, Fred channel. The goddamn clip channel. And Rumble. All right, and Rumble. Okay, ladies. Mm. That was your turn. After the guess, of course. <laughs> so tell them who you are, brother. Ah, uh, I am Rolo Tomasi. You're Rolo Tomasi? I am Tomasi? the author of the Rational Mail series of books. There Off are way. five of them out now. So, And that is, and they're done, by the way. I'm working on, a, on, a, on another one right now. But uh, we, are all, we are also uh, two halves of the Access Vegas show that we uh, just launched. Uh, when did we do it? Back in October? Uh, we are, yeah, two yeah, months. Oh, yeah. So we're, uh, we're making the rounds, uh, and um, that's us. Uh, I'm Michael Sartain. I'm the other half of the Access mm -hmm. Vegas uh, co-hosting crew. I also host the Michael Sartain podcast, and I'm the creator of MOA Mentoring, Men of Action Mentoring course. Fire. Okay, ladies, give us your name, your age, what we do for a living, dating status, <laughs> education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we'll start right here. So name, <laughs> age, what we do for a living, and dating status. Um, my name is Giovanna. I'm a PCA patient care assistant um, at a dental office. What was the third question? Um, <laughs> okay, so your name is Giovanna. How old are you? 22. Where are you from originally? Brazil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, born and raised there or yes. like where'd you go to high school? Well, I went to high school here, but I came to the States in 2011, but I was raised in Brazil. Okay. Um, what do you do for work? I'm a PCA. Okay, what's a PCA? Patient care assistant. Okay, is Wait, that kind of like care? a CNA? A nurse? Basically, if you want to get braces, you come see me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. All right, so in the dental world. <laughs> yes. Okay, oh, what's your highest <laughs> education uh, level? That's not cool. Completed? I would say... Probably at least a... A business kind of... administration major. In, in bachelor's degree? Uh, no, what's the first four years? Whatever bachelor's. the first four years, bachelor's, bachelor's, bachelor's yes. Okay, I'm going you, for you master's. Your, where'd you do your undergrad? <laughs> undergrad, I actually did Rutgers, Rutgers in Jersey. Yes, yes. okay, that's a red flag. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you're 22. Okay, single relationship, sugar daddy, complicated. I'm actually married. in a relationship. Okay, how long y'all been together? Uh, I want to say six, seven months. Okay, <laughs> oh, you sound excited. <laughs> uh, well, we're in Miami too. Yeah. I don't live in Miami. I it's actually drove two hours to come down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you live oh. uh, where what part of uh, Florida are you in? I'm actually around Justin Beach, Palm City area. It's like forty okay. minutes up north of West Palm. Okay. And I just gotta ask this since you said you're in a relationship. Is your guy an American citizen? Uh yes. Are you working on that green card? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't All right. need it. You don't need it? you're an American citizen too? Yes. Okay. So you were born in Brazil. Yes. Family... My my biological father is American. Okay. All right, cool. Yes. All right. She was blessed. All right then. Mm -hmm. Uh it what did about help. you? What's your name? My name's Destiny. I'm from <laughs> Destiny. Uh, Destiny. I'm uh, from Connecticut. I'm twenty two. Twenty two. What part of Connecticut are you from? Um I was raised in Nogatuck, Connecticut. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, right. Yeah, Nogatuck is trash. You're from the Valley. <laughs> oh, you know about Connecticut? I'm from New Britain. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what's your highest education level completed? Um, sophomore in college. Okay. You're in school now? Yeah. Okay. So in college. Uh, what are you majoring in? Communications. Oh, useless degree. Um, <laughs> and then what's your relationship status? I'm single. Okay. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, do you live in Miami or just here visiting? I'm just here visiting. Okay. And real quick for you, what was your major in in, uh, in college at Rutgers? Business administration. Business administration, right? Okay. All right, cool. Uh, what about Hello. you? My name is Lucia. Okay. I'm 23. I'm uh -huh. here from Miami. And um, what do you I'm do for a work? Small business owner. Okay. Vintage clothing. And 
Yeah, that was it, right? <laughs> yeah, small business owner. Uh, dating okay. status. What's your dating status? status? I'm single. Single. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and what's your high school education level completed? Uh, high school. High school. All right, mm-hmm. cool. And then, do you work or are you just a full time student? Um, I work. Yeah. And what do you do for work? So um, I'm in. I was a nightlife. I quit a little while ago, but um, I'm getting ready to launch my own business. I do tooth gems and hyaluron lip fillers. Okay, so mm-hmm. you do like beauty stuff. Tooth mm-hmm. gems. Mm-hmm. Like what you have in your teeth right now? Mm-hmm. With a tooth gem, oh, wow, sure. like that. Oh, mate, oh okay. You yeah. know, I've seen a lot of girls with that. I wonder mm-hmm. what the hell that is. Yeah, sparks people like on to the streets. Thing. All right. Uh, <laughs> and then high school. Okay, cool. Um, all right. What about uh, what about you? Hey, what's up? I'm Mandy. I'm 25, single, and I do OnlyFans. Welcome back. Mandy. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, OnlyFans. Get it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lots of stuff. That was a good one. That was uh, a good one, Fresh. Yeah. Uh, no, that was, that was, that was Chris. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> 25, I saw Fresh's mouth moving, single? so I assume. Where, where are you originally from? I am originally from Houston, Texas. I moved to mm. Miami three years ago. Okay. So you're corrupted now. And uh yep. and you said you do OF highest education level completed? High school. High school. OF university. Okay. And <laughs> cool. All right. Uh what about you? My name is Amara. I'm twenty two from the Bronx, New York. New York. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um what's the other question? Uh what do you do for work? Oh, I'm a model. Um You're a model? Yeah. And Wait. my highest level of education probably would be some college. Wait, I, got, junior. I I gotta know. What? Have you been invoked? No, oh my god, and that's why I don't tell people because I'm gotcha, like, Drake really ruined it for me. <laughs> Drake, Drake, uh, and and you're single. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, what about you? Hi guys, my name is Samaya. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I do reside in Tallahassee, Florida. I go to school. I'm in college, and my major is biological sciences, and I'm single. Cool. Uh, hold on. In college, you said um biological sciences. Yes. Okay, and then. Oh, from, I'm writing from, all this down from Tallahassee Ta- from Tallahassee and you're what how old 20 I'm 20 you're 20 years old okay mm-hmm. single and you said single I'm single and I'm from Arizona okay uh, oh, all right and you don't work right I do work I do nursing assisting and mm-hmm. modeling wait nurse, nurse? Nursing assistant. All right. <laughs> so she's a, she's a nurse. Is that a red flag? Mm. Okay, a double so red flag, nigga. Also a CNA. Damn. And a model. Okay. Guys, be careful, man. Yo, be careful, nurse, there, man. You belong to the ER. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. All right. Uh, and you're in school right now. Cool. Yes. All right. What about you? What's your name? Um, I'm Danny. I'm 26. I was born in Brazil, but raised in Atlanta. And I do bottle service. And I went to school for paralegal studies. Okay, do you live here in Miami now? I do for a okay. year and a half. You okay. look familiar. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, here wait we go. a second. I think from. Mm. Oh. oh, oh, okay. I get it now. The white girl. Hannah. You've, yeah, your friend. My best friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now <laughs> we went to the club. That What's narrows up? it down. It's fair. I mean, it is Miami, so I'll give you that. Like, I'm trying to remember, like, there's not many Caucasian women here. White girl. Uh, you are the white girl. Uh, all right, so you said from Atlanta, bottle girl, 26, um, and highest education level completed? Uh, I went to school for paralegal studies. Okay. Mm-hmm. And is, did you finish college? So high school is the high, most you completed? Uh, no. you finished college? I finished college. Oh, you did? You have a yes, bachelor's? Yes, yes. Okay, in legal studies? Yes. Where'd you go? Uh, University of North Georgia. Okay. Uh, single relationship? I'm single. Okay. Fresh. I'm trying to remember something else. <laughs> <laughs> something uh, happened that night. I can't remember what happened. But where, where, where are you? What happened? A server at? I can't remember. I don't think anything happened. What club? What club do you work at? Uh, right now, I work at Strawberry Moon and Mad in Winwood. Okay, got it. Okay. I love Strawberry Moon. She gave me money. Smart All right. and pretty. Cool. What about uh what about you? Um, my name is Shy. I'm from the Bronx. I moved here about a year yes. and a half ago. New York. <laughs> of okay. course. How old um, you? I'm 25. Okay. Um I bartend and I also do OnlyFans. Yeah. And okay. I'm single. All right. Uh, speak louder. And then highest education level completed? I have my master's degree in business management. Okay. Master's, cool. okay. Almost a PhD. <laughs> Uh, oh. Masters in business management, you said. Yeah, in communications. Okay, so all right, so we got what? How many girls are, are college grads here? We got, I think, I counted wow. four. Okay, one, two, three. 
And then uh, a couple, and who's in college right now? We got two two girls that are pursuing a degree. All right, cool. All right. And who went to OnlyFans University? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Shout out to y'all, man. Professor. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, good diversified panel here. Um, you guys want to take it away for the first question? Uh, yeah. Hey uh, guys, just r- real quick before we ask that thing. So from this point forward, I already see se- almost seven thousand y'all watching live. We're gonna go up uh, twenty and up from here. Yep. Uh, but I will read the chats that came in prior. Chris already made a note of it, so all those chats I'll read them. Um, but as far as from this point forward, it's gonna be twenty and up. But I'm gonna uh, have uh, Mike and Rolo take it away. Go ahead. Beautiful ladies, I'd like to know the demographics of your ideal man. Okay, so that would be his height, about his age range, mm-hmm. his income, and any other markers that that you might that uh, things that you might find attractive about him, like black, so, white, Asian. Yeah, so we'll exactly. start here. So ladies, just so you guys know how it's going to go is if it starts here the first time, it's going to go back this way and just hot potato it back, right? And one at a time. So uh, go ahead and. Uh, so do you want to start with height first? Yeah, Mike? let's do height. Okay. At least um, let's do height, income, and then some other uh, demographics. Your dream it. man. Your dream man. Yeah, <laughs> ideally. Um, height, um, 5'10", 5'10". or t- taller. Okay. Um, income? Income. It really depends on the person. If I like their personality, I'll So if be... he's super hot and hung, then it's like um, 50,000. But uh, if he's... If well, he's... you got to have a bare minimum. Yeah, bro. Bro. Um, bare, minimum, yeah. bare minimum, like 70K. 70K, okay. okay. Yeah, bare okay. minimum. And... um. I like someone who likes anime. Anime, I, I of like, course. I like watching anime. Um, and someone who's funny who likes to do new things. What's your favorite anime? My favorite is um Sailor Moon. Whack. What? <laughs> All right. We take you back to the streets. No, no, no. No. Okay, it's like nostalgic for me. I have a Sailor Moon tattoo, which is the symbol right here. But um, I watch. She belongs to the streets. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is what I don't get, right? Because I'm an anime lover too, as well. So is Chris. How many times can you watch Sailor Moon realistically? Once. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So it's one, just one nostalgic. Time. It's just a nostalgic thing for me. Okay. But it's I more do about watch... the memories yeah, tied the to memories it. That makes it better. It. Yeah, but um, I like... Even I watch, watch Cowboy Bebop, um, okay. Demon Slayer, Naruto. Okay, so how about this? I'll make it simple. Because uh, we can, I can see we can go down rabbit hole. Yeah. So height, income, and then one factor they must have. Uh, also, I'd like to know the physique. Is there oh, like okay. a physical type that you're looking for? Not really. I am I don't judge. So you even if he's overweight, you you don't mind that at all? I don't mind. No. You don't mind? I, I okay. Mind. And there's no other physical attribute. Stop the cat. I mean, she was <laughs> a, certain, a, certain, a certain ethnicity you like. Um, or don't I don't say prefer, any race, like prefer, white, black, and um, Latin. Black men. Okay. Prefer, that's my preference. BBC gang in the mm-hmm. building, bro. Already, <laughs> already, <laughs> going to work. Right, of course. Of course. Yeah. Five ten seventy k black and uh, what was the other thing that you wanted, Mike? Uh, a, a, a physical shut type, right? Yeah, physical type. Can you be obese? Like... I guess would be. Uh-huh. Um, not obese because I don't want to like overweight. Um, yeah, I like missionary, but uh... <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So <laughs> thank you, Chris. Does my nigga more have a chance? He's cute. Yeah. Okay. My nigga. All right. Uh, what about you? Okay. Um. <laughs> Definitely taller than six one okay. or six one. So six one is minimum. Okay. Yeah, Damn. minimum. Okay. Yes, I like them tall. Uh-huh. Um, I would say what was it again? Uh, income. 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 Uh, a hundred k a year. Hundred k a year. Okay. Um, uh, hey, what let's, else? Let's say uh, ethnicity. Do you have an ethnicity you like or don't like in particular? Um, anything but white. I'm sorry. You don't like white guys. That's fine. <laughs> no, not my type. That's sorry. Fine. Sorry. Uh, f- oh, his physique. Uh, physique. Um. Not overweight. I mean, you don't have to be fit, but you just can't be fat. What about a dad bod? I yeah. <laughs> okay, Chris, you got yeah. a chance. Nigga. <laughs> uh, with right. any any level of education that you care about, or does that matter to you? I mean, not really. As long as you have hustle and ambition. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice, sir. That part. Okay. So... Do you care about education as a master's degree holder? By the way, for you, Miss Sailor Moon. Um, not per se. As long as you have ambition, like she said. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Okay, so I don't like. I'm 20, so anybody that's like too old, no, it's a turnoff. But you're also five foot ten, and I'm just curious, <laughs> like, if do you, does he need to be taller than you? He now, yes. Okay, I've gave too many so short men a you, chance. You, you gave too many short. <laughs> you play power forward. He needs to play center. Is I that guess. what you're saying? Short yeah. king. What's, uh, what's the bare minimum height for you? Ooh, my height. Or less. So five ten is yeah, the minimum for you, mm-hmm. and then the income. 100k. 100k. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then ethnicity, ethnicity. I mean, I don't discriminate, but I've been with more white men than I have black men. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, is that your preference? I mean, I grew up in like a white area. So okay. I mean, so so North Georgia, right? Is that what you said? No, Florida. Is there an age, oh, sorry, range, is there age range you look for? Mm, Twenty. 
20s. Wait, in their 20s? 20s? You like men in their 20s, really? I mean, yeah, well, I'm 20. 20. She is 20. Okay. Right. I don't want somebody too grown and try to boss me around. And, and, you is, know? is there a physique type? <laughs> um, I don't like men that are like too, too muscular. Like they yeah. look like Mr. Incredible. Yeah. I don't like that. That's too much. I understand much. that 100%. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can they be obese or no? I mean, what's obese to you? Like 200 pounds? Typically, that's about... Excuse what is me? Is I mean, that's, that's normal. I was doing for a is, it, is it 30 17. pounds over uh, weight or is it the BMI 30? Um, if the BMI is the, is the, over, is the obesity the BMI. Yeah, number, yeah. I mean, it depends how tall he is. No, no, but if he can be overweight at any height. Yeah. You don't mind? Muffin I top. Not. Man boobs. It's fine. Okay, no man boobs. No man boobs. Okay. Okay. He can't see his dick. <laughs> not obese. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and, you'll, and you'll deal with another race outside of white too? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, you, anything? But is there anything that's off limits? That should be easier. No. Hey, you'll do an Asian guy. Ching chow okay, <laughs> uh, Hey guys, hey, well, real quick before we go on, don't say the the race. Is there an ethnicity you won't go out with? Just raise your hand if there is one that you won't go out with. Anybody? Has one? Don't say which one it is. So there's three girls, four girls here. I just want to state that you're stating a preference based on based on ethnicity. That's fine. I just want to make sure we got that out there. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so yeah, I definitely have a height requirement. Um, they gotta be at least six foot. Six foot. At okay. Least. Wait, they gotta wear Tim's? Um, but yeah, I like, I like a man with money. So yeah, I'll go with like 70, 70 K range. At least okay. as long as you're making more than me. <laughs> okay. So 70 is bare minimum for you. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as like race, race. Like you said, I, the only race I wouldn't really talk to would be um, Caucasian men. Okay. Okay. Um, Caucasian. Yeah, but okay. I do like light skins and dark skin men. This okay. is uh, I've met my light skin brother right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as white as fresh as dark. <laughs> he's, so, he's so white that he got another card from Chase Bank. He didn't even yes. have to apply. Oh, that's that's funny. So. Siri heard me. All right. Okay. So no, so no whites, and then uh, can he be obese or no? No. Okay. Sorry. Age range matter or no? Not younger than me. I'm not doing that again. Twenties, forties, <laughs> yeah. oh, bad experience. Forties, eh? no, that's thirty. Thirty, maybe. How old are you? I'm twenty-one. Twenty-two. 21. So twenty-one. Nine. Thirty. Not too much. I turned twenty-two on Saturday. So would you go with the guy who was thirty? Thirty. It depends. Thirty-five. No. No. Okay. So thirty is a special. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Uh, Rolla, can you move her mic down a little bit? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, that so it doesn't cover her face all the way. All right. Uh, what about you? Height doesn't actually matter to me. Um, I've She's been done out this with stop the cap. <laughs> no, I, I have been out with a few short kings, and I can say it doesn't really matter to me. Where are they um, at now, though? And what? have you filmed with where, them? Where are those guys at? <laughs> well, I blocked yeah, them yeah. recently. So let's be realistic here. So what's the bare minimum height? Okay. Um, maybe now over six foot one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How tall are you? I'm five nine. Cool. That's why I asked that because she's tall. Yeah. Uh, bare minimum income. Um, as long as they're making more than me, maybe around seventy five hundred k. Okay, seventy five. Okay. Um, do you have a race preference? Um, no, I don't. You, your equal opportunity employer will take black, Asian, <laughs> Indian. Sorry. Yes. Anybody. Okay. Yes. Don't discriminate. Only fans, you know. I don't believe that she a white girl. Okay. She just can't say it out loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> white women always shy away from that question. You no, said. I like everyone. Uh, it's okay though. We get it. Um, okay. And then, um, can you be fat mm. mm -hmm. or can you be obese? I guess. Um, I would prefer, that's um, a no. Yeah, right. no, yeah, yeah, a no. Fantastic. Uh, Mike, anything else to add to that or no, that's uh, uh physique. No, you um, just said he just said, can't be fat. No, can't be fat. Maybe like Santa too. I have a definite tattoo. Man, I, I need to get into fucking anime. Yeah, what am I doing right. wrong with my life? <laughs> right. Here I read books and shit. I mean, stop. Go ahead. Um, I would take somebody that's... Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe minimum 5'7". Okay. Because I'm pretty short. So okay. It doesn't sure. matter. Um, minimum income... Maybe like 70K. Maybe. Okay. That's good. Everyone says 70K now. <laughs> it's like the average. Yeah. 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 And... Um, I don't have any preference. I can date. Like no physique race. and no ethnicity? Oh, um, as long as he's healthy, I don't mind his physique. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, well, what about preference so and race? Cute. Can't have gout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't care teeth. about race. Hmm. Okay. No preference in race or size. Okay. Uh, I would have thought you'd, you'd like black guys. Me? Yeah. Oh. It, because of the gold teeth. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a Florida Wait. thing. Go to. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. What about you? Bare minimum height? Um, I'm going to say honest. probably like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, really? Wow. All right. Okay. We got a shot. How tall are you? Income? I'm like 5'5". Five, five. Mm. Bare minimum income for you? Um, I'd probably say like 75, 80K. Mm. Okay. Still within tolerance. Okay. Uh, what's the uh, race preference for you? African American. Black. Black women overwhelmingly prefer black men. That's kind of what, what it's always been. So that's yeah. your kind of an anomaly. Uh, okay. <laughs> At least from the numbers. Uh, and then you, uh, as far as um, body type, can you be obese? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Does he have to be athletic or just can't be obese? Um, I prefer like healthy and obese is not healthy. <laughs> Does he have to be a, th- a thug? Dad bod. Um, I like, like that. Dad. I like dad bods really? actually. Okay. You know, um, a thug. Like gangster. Um, I mean, I do like him, huh? But like I said, I like uh, healthy things. Like, 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 no, like, I, I want to. No. <laughs> What's going on, nigga? I want a family. Her niggas, they don't really give off family. Well, actually, um, they do. They're sp- sperm donors, aren't they? That's not a family, though. Not a family. Oh, shit. Chris. That's funny. All right. Okay. Uh, what about you? <laughs> uh, bare minimum height for you? As long as they're taller than me when I'm wearing heels. Right. And I'm five foot two. So you do the math. Uh, I mean, all be so. six inch heels, that would be five nine. I can't do six inch. I'll be like at most four inches. So, so okay, five, so it's all on five six. It's like five 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 six. Okay. Is your boyfriend Hello five five? Is... I think he's like five ten. Okay, so uh, and bare minimum income for you? My realistic answer is it's funny. Gonna I have to be... preface it with being realistic. <laughs> yes, mm. okay. my realistic answer would be forty k because Whoa. of my age and it's. That means with at least 40K, he's moved out and has his own house. In what and city? A, um, well, I where I live, you can afford it. What? Obviously not Miami. Paducah, okay. Kentucky. Paducah, yeah, for sure. Well, if you go to Palm <laughs> City, Ar- Arkansas, where have, you can do that. Yeah, yeah She's like, getting closer to Central Florida. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't, it's too toxic down here. I'm sorry. Is I don't, okay, don't want to get lost. We can definitely talk about that here in a little I've bit. I've lived yeah. in Brickell before <laughs> for about a year or two. And when I tell you, I've never been in such a toxic mental state in my life. The first thing I chose was go back to Vermont, stay in the wilderness in Idaho for six months, then Vermont, and then mm. I came back was to... It, was it the men or the women that made you feel toxic? It was I the think men. just the culture in itself. And I don't want to just say America as a whole, but it's like Miami has its own culture within this country that for me personally, I don't want to be involved. <laughs> yeah, it's another world down here. Yeah. It, it is another. I've always mm-hmm. said that Miami isn't really like the United States in general. Um, it's, it's either going like to make you or break you. Latin America light. Is what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, before we go on, I just want to point yeah. out something. The reason why I asked the ethnicity question, there's a book called Dataclism, which was mm. uh, written by the, the CTO from eHarmony. And one of the things they showed in the book that I thought was pretty amazing is that when men wrote on there that they dated women of any race, they really did date women of any race. When women wrote on there that they dated men of any race, they picked one race and that was the only person that they dated. Mm-hmm. Boom, that's, book up. that's generally how it works. <laughs> by the way, same thing. When women were bisexual and they put, reported being bisexual on there, they were, they, they hit up men and they hit up women on the account. When men reported being bisexual, they only hit up men. Like 97% of them only hit up men. So there's some really interesting stuff on that book if you if you guys check that out. But I just mm-hmm. thought it was interesting from you, okay. from you guys saying that about I've always said it that like if a guy's bisexual, he's really he, probably homosexual. Because yeah. why yeah. would you go and deal with women when you can get sex from dudes way easier? Why would you deal with the bullshit that women put up with <laughs> yeah. and d- give you? Real right? quick, ladies, um, if you would date a guy that's bisexual, <coughs> raise your hand. No, no, that's immediately. A, okay, one. Okay, two. two. Uh, but you can't feel content with them on OnlyFans. Yeah, but you can't feel content. Are we, can we explain why? Make like hella money. Yeah, yeah, yeah real quick. Why, why would you give a? Why, yeah. why would you? Well, because like fifty percent of men are on the low, anyways. Right. Fifty so, percent. Time, time out. Time out. Whoa. That's not yeah. a good amount of men are on the low. A good amount of men are on the low. No, no, no. So yeah. Out of the surveys, at that most high. like eleven percent. Not eleven percent. It is absolutely. Uh, maybe fifty is. Fifty percent. It's not. Maybe like thirty percent. That's scary. It's not even thirty percent. Yes. So they do anonymous. They do anonymous surveys, and they actually check. There's the same book actually goes over porn searches another book called everybody lies and in that book they go over porn searches and it's about four and a half percent of men are actually homosexual and about 11 percent of but men those have are had, men that like no, to watch porn yeah but 11 percent have had some sort of 
fantasy about another man. But that's anonymous surveys. These people are not lying. It's about 11%. But it's not 30%. It's not 50%. People? Huh? But out of how many people? No, it's a population, the entire U.S. population. That's how they, they survey. It's so Google, one in 10. It's Google searches. It's about Google one, searches. One in 10. Yeah. No, but yeah, it's Google well, searches. It feels it's not 50%. Like 50%. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's about four and a half percent because it's really funny. In the book, they show two and a half percent of men in, in, uh, uh, in Air, or I'm sorry, in Alabama report being homosexual, four and a half percent of men in Vermont. But when they look at porn searches, exactly the same. Exactly the same. In fact, because homosexuality is normally distributed amongst the population. So that's the reason why. So, like, that's, it's not anywhere near 50%. Sorry. Okay. She's I probably using her own me. personal experience. <laughs> exactly. no. 50%, 50 of the men she's dealt with. No. Actually, I have a question no. for you. Have you dealt with any men that turn out to be on uh, the low that you didn't realize? No, but from like, uh, I, have the friends, cap. I know I have friends that are gay and they tell Stop me about the how many men on the low approach them and like men you would mm. never expect. Mm -hmm. So out of the amount I mean, that's, of guys, that's also a cognitive bias because they're being approached. Right, they're not being approached by the entire population. They're only being approached by men who are specifically looking. Gotcha, at bitch. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, like if, I, if I lived on South Beach, I think every Cuban man is homosexual. Like, I, I just, it's not true. It doesn't mean that that's the case. From what okay. they've approached you? Or from no, no, not from where I approach you. It's just that it's not, it's not a normal distribution. You're just only getting responses from people who are, if you're a straight man, you're not approaching a gay guy, right? So all the straight men are eliminated from the survey. It's only gay men that are approaching gay men. Got it? So that means that it can't be 50%. You, you see what I'm saying? It's not scientific. Yeah, I was just exaggerating, yeah. but you know. Yeah, there are, it's there pretty are there's no, what I'm saying is there's no evolutionary reason for 50% of men to be gay. Does that make sense? It doesn't Yeah, fit. it makes sense, yeah. but well, from just. There are if 50% of, of, of men were gay, the economy <laughs> would crash. You ladies yeah. would all be miserable. <laughs> no, the men would not chase y'all whatsoever <laughs> because it's imagine. way easier to deal with dudes than it is to deal with women. To be fair, like what you're saying, 50%, if that's true, you see you dated guys before, you wouldn't even know. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing, though. You wouldn't know with a guy that's bisexual. You would at least know. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like with a guy who's bisexual, at least you know what the possibilities are. Whereas a guy on the low, he'll never be honest with you. He'll always like go behind mm -hmm. your back. And do right. it. Yeah, but you mm -hmm. can you can see the symptoms. no. Sometimes no, you, you can't. can't. I mean, you yo. have to experience it to know that you'd be like. He hasn't what? had sex yo. with me in a month. Ask. No, like, oh, oh, there's many I see. She knows. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, she definitely knew. Um, now you said you you would date a homeless, uh, a bisexual guy. Why? Um, yes, I would. Okay. Um, I don't really look for sexuality. I look for personality. And if they can make me laugh, Bruh. I'm okay with it. What? Bruh. I can make them oh, we're going to have some fun tonight. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know what? Let me clarify because, it, but let's be honest here. You're going to, if, if that guy is going to sit there and provide you that, um, that relationship energy, right? Like he's giving you that personality. You're going to go fuck somebody else. Wait, what was it? <laughs> if that guy that's bisexual that you're dealing with, right? He mm -hmm. fulfills you personality-wise, right? Yeah. You're probably going to go ahead and get your sex from someone else. That's I a mean... Yes. yes. If he has that good good, then <laughs> that's awesome. Can she create content with him? <clears throat> no, let's say he needs to know. I'm, okay, very, very well, interesting. Hold on. You know who flew under, under the radar for this whole to uh, topic right now? Mm. Yeah. August Alcina. Nigga was gay the whole time. Yeah, no, no, nobody knew. That's, what I'm, That's the, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The dude that what? took Will's wife for a night or two entanglement ended up being gay. Mm -hmm. But so fresh, uh, Jada. So, so here's the thing. Jada. Jada. What I've seen before. What I've seen before. Jada does give masculine energy. What I've no. seen. She looks like. A, no, sorry, let me. She doesn't look like a man, but she gives <laughs> off give masculine energy. energy. I'm just gonna say. I can see why he chose her. That's all I'm saying. Well, what I'm saying is anecdotally, you know, I used to manage a strip club back after college. And what I've seen is that women have gone through some kind of like sexual trauma or something like that. Mm -hmm. They'll pick like a super unaggressive man, not mm -hmm. realizing she, she's dating a gay man. Mm -hmm. She does, And I see it often. It's like, yeah, he never wants to try to have sex with me. He, he dresses mm -hmm. really well. He's got six pack abs. And I'm like, yeah, he's, he's hitting on me. He's gay. Like, and they don't believe it or they don't see it. Mm -hmm. I see that happen very, very frequently. It's not, it's not to knock them or whatever, but mm -hmm. it's, I just see so often it's either that or they go the other direction. It's this hyper masculine, super muscled up roided dude and that they'll end up dating to try to make up for the fact that something, you know, there was some kind of trauma in their past. I've seen mm -hmm. that happen numerous times. Um, and just to finish off with you, what was your race preference or do you not have one? I don't have one. No race preference. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Just then body type. Heterosexual. <laughs> and then uh, do you care if he's obese? Um, I do. Okay. Can't be obese? No. Okay. Sorry, Mo. Thank you, Chris. Uh, <laughs> can, can, All right. can we ask them the question? Yeah, so first, it's, it's, mm -hmm. yeah. So now we got the, the numbers that you need. Go ahead. Okay. So first off, the whole thing where women want guys who are six feet or taller, do you know this does not happen in Europe? Do you know why? What? They measure I? in 
centimeters centimeters, centimeters. Oh. so that whole thing where it goes so when we when we look at the distribution of what women's preferences are on dating apps it goes six three and then it, six three is like the highest then it goes six two six one six foot and at five eleven it just drops off a cliff whereas a normal distribution would look like this it goes like this and then it drops off a cliff once it gets to five eleven and then five three is like nobody who selects that right does that make sense mm -hmm. so that this is just a mathematical thing because you guys live in the imperial system that's the reason why there's no difference between six feet and five eleven and the reason why men, women prefer the taller men is for survival characteristics. However, the richest men in the world are not, a lot of them aren't even six feet tall. So this is just kind of a, it's what called an evolutionary mismatch. That's the, that's the idea behind it. But height is so important to so many women, right? So the percentage of men that are over six feet tall in North America, does anybody want to take a guess at how, what percentage of men are over six feet tall? We can start tall? here and then work our way. Yeah. yeah. Just real quick. What, what do you think? Nigga, <laughs> I want to say over six percent of whatever. I'm sorry, I would say about four to seven percent. Four to seven percent. What do you think? Mm, probably like twelve to fifteen. Twelve to fifteen. Uh, like twenty percent. Okay. Um, maybe five. What do you say? I'm going with thirty. Thirty. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty. Twenty. Eleven. It's really interesting that even the girls who think that 4% of the men are over six feet tall and still want men over six feet, it's like that you think that you're a statistical anomaly or something. Like, how do you, that's 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 two standard deviations outside the norm. Uh, it's 14% or over six feet tall. And once you get to like 6'3", it's like we're talking 1%. Oh, wow. You guys got that now? Hmm. So that's one of the factors in, in who we're going to choose. The next factor is your income. So let's go here to uh, All Dr. Right. Dr. Tomasi here right go. here. Okay. So let's do 70,000 and let's do 100,000. Okay, this is for 100,000. I already did this okay. one. Okay, so not married any race because we had such a variety of race. Yeah. I can do, I can go specific. Let's go different races too. I okay, well, uh, at least six foot tall, uh, not obese, earning $100,000 per year, up to 100,000. Does anybody want to take a guess what percentage of men would be available we'll start to start here and then work our way this way. So one more time for them. The percentage of men that are six feet and make a hundred thousand dollars per year. Is not, that the, yeah, well, I, I would presume not married. So, like, unless you guys are after <laughs> married, not married, not obese. No. I'm gonna uh, say two percent. Not obese. Two percent. Okay. Yeah. Like ten. Ten percent. Ten percent. At least God. six foot tall. Dang. Ten percent. Okay. Go ahead. Five. Five percent. Four. Four. Ten percent. Five percent. Five percent. One percent. It is two point. Two three percent. It is two a fraction is, of it is one fifth Bruh. of one percent, and we haven't even gotten into the race part again. So do you guys understand? Like yeah. now, it just becomes a little bit harder to find that dude that you guys are looking for. Okay, right? Because and it was yeah. actually what was the actual percentage? Uh, Point two three percent. Okay. <laughs> okay. So can we try things. black and white? Let's just try black right. and white. At one hundred thousand. What do you want? Yeah, let's add one hundred thousand. Wait, that was just for 70K? That was for 100,000. Oh, that was for 100,000? 100, 100, okay. You want to try, to, let's just 70 real quick. Let's 70? just 70 real quick. Yeah, because a lot of you ladies said uh, $70,000 a year. Okay. So, 70,000. Do you want us to pull up our delusion calculator? I got, I got it right here. <laughs> I got it in my hand right here. <laughs> All right, not delusion. married. Not married. Uh, black man, uh, at least six foot tall, not obese, earning $70,000 per year. Well, I think she did 100,000. Is that it? You want to, I, well, I said 70,000. Okay, no, 100,000. Uh, so, black man doing that. Anybody want to take a guess? What percentage? You're crushing our dreams. It is here. one tenth of 1%. Oh, it is 0.095% of men that would, would fit into that category. This is all census. Can, we do, too, can we do all races in 100,000? Sure. <laughs> this is from the U.S. Census. This is, okay. by the way. So, so I put and I put the age range within 20 and 30. Yeah. So I, by the way, the, the U.S. Answer. Census is obviously red pilled at this point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so these are very accurate statistics from the U.S. population. Yeah, right? No, 100,000. Why did it do that? No, we haven't done 100,000. Yeah. Oh, did we? Was yeah, that, that was the first one. one. Okay, 100. so we did 70,000. Okay, let's do 70. Okay. Let's do 70,000. Let's make it easy. 70,000, 5 foot 10. 5 foot 10. And okay. any race. Okay. Any so race. now we're, let's be more realistic and let's just see what the numbers are. 5 foot 10. What's that? Ah, okay, here we five go. Ten, five foot ten, seventy thousand dollars. Not married, any okay. race. Not married, any race, and not obese. Anybody not obese, guess? earning okay. seventy thousand per year. Anybody want to take a guess? What do you think? Eighteen. Eighteen percent. Um, ten percent. Ten percent. Fifteen. Fifteen. Twelve. What do you think? Ten percent. What do you think? Seven percent. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Three percent. Guys, we went below a hundred thousand. We went below six feet tall. It is one point five percent of men yeah. that you guys are describing. <laughs> Now, oh now, here's the thing. Here's the reason why we bring this up. I love the looks on your face, by the way. I'm yeah, sorry. Now I'm that sorry. we know the numbers, pretty much. <laughs> sorry, sorry to crush your dreams. But the first part is that number. Now, the second part is, can you get this guy to, one, have sex with you, two, be in a relationship with you, three, be in a relationship with you and not cheat? Now, those numbers get even progressively 
Smaller. lower, right? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to hear to make you guys depressed. I am trying to hear to like <laughs> let you guys know the reason why these numbers seem so out of skew. You want to know why? What percentage of men have had zero sexual partners in the last year? Take a guess. Go ahead. Uh, we'll start over here. What percentage of men have had zero sexual partners in the last year? I want to say. Think, think about Brad and Tyrone and all the other dudes that you've met. Those good looking dudes. How many? What percentage have had zero sexual partners? Your kids, Felipe. I want to say like 40%. 40% of men have had zero sexual partners. Yes, because ever since COVID happened, I just noticed more people get lazy and obviously gaming Got it. as well. Oh, yeah. Video also... game. That's, a, that's an interesting observation. Go ahead. I'm going to go with like. Um, a half of one percent. Half of one percent. <laughs> 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 so dudes are, dudes are just just not in the back. Back. Just back. Back. Oh, okay. Go ahead. They're going crazy. It might be easier if we ask them what percentage of guys you think are sexually active. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All you think of them that, will work? that are sexually active. Yeah. They've yeah. had at least one sexual partner in the last year. Maybe like eighty percent. Eighty percent. So that twenty would be there. Go ahead. What's yeah. it? Ninety percent. These dudes are smashing. Okay. Go ahead. I would say 100%. 100%? 100%. 100%. Like 98%. Okay, cool. 33% of men have zero sexual partners in the last year between the ages of 18 and 30. 33. That number used to be 12% a decade ago. Oh, wow. Okay. What's changed in the last decade or so? Anybody? Can anybody think of anything that's social changed? Media. Technology. Yeah, social, yeah. Media. Social, media. social media. Exactly. It is a one-to-one -one correlation, a linear correlation to social media. As the Facebook app was introduced to the iPhone, the number of men with zero sexual partners skyrocketed like a hockey stick. So it went from 12% and now it's all the way up to, uh, right now it's probably around 33%. Okay, the average number of sexual partners a North American man has in his whole life. You want to take a guess? How many sexual partners? Yeah, how many sexual have? partners that is a whole life? Maybe like eight. I love this. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh, like 50 plus. 50 plus. <laughs> this is what I'm waiting for. This is what I'm waiting for. Guys. Probably, kind of it's probably by, like higher than their age. Like, you know, like higher than their age. Yeah. No, just their whole life. Like they uh, die at 80. How many partners they have? Like 30 oh. or 40. 30 or 40. Go ahead. 150. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. Uh, around 50. 50. I would say like 15. 15. I'm going to go with like 100. 100? 120. <laughs> people. Depends. Or do they have money or not? No. All North Average. American males, what, what percentage of them have uh, at least how many sexual partners they have before they die? 10 to 12. 10 to 12. The, the number is seven. <laughs> oh yeah look at you yes because I don't yes and it's funny because i knew what you were going to say because you work in bottle service uh -huh. and the hosts that you work with have all been with hundreds of women right. and you think that's representative of women but you forget that the guy who gave you your drive through the five foot five filipino dude who gave you your drive through is also a man mm -hmm. right the, the cashier at walmart is also a man mm -hmm. but you in your mind if i were to take you to walmart and point to the guy stuck in the shelves and be like who's he fucking you'd be like oh fuck you you don't you don't see it does that make sense mm -hmm. if you were to it's all men it's not just the high, it's not just brock the bartender it's also alex the accountant does that make sense mm -hmm. and this is where people get out of whack because they start thinking like all men are over six feet tall all men make a hundred thousand dollars all men have been with hundreds of women when the reality of the situation is like not it, that, by the way that 33 percent of men not have, having zero sexual partners is a lie it's way higher than that actually um and half of in the mean is seven who here know ladies who here knows a guy who's been over with like over 200 men with men? Wait, yeah, two hundred women. Two hundred women. Two hundred women. You guys know a guy that's been with over two hundred women. No. Probably somewhere close. No. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know some? Know. You know some? I don't. You know any digits? Dudes that's been with two hundred women, and you work in OF, and you film on OF. That's incredible. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't think so. I don't think I no. know anyone. Okay. That's been I know a fat kid no. in Brazil with 1,580. That's yeah, that's that's. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's I mean, I that's crazy. No. And I think, he, I think he hasn't paid for 10 of them. That's funny. Uh, At least four of them. Okay, so the reality is you guys do, uh, but you probably just didn't know. Uh, that, that's, that's the reality. So it's really interesting when I hear women say this because a lot of times when women are exposed to very high status men consistently, they start believing all men are like that. And then they then they walk by the guy uh, in the grocery store and don't even notice, not even that he's sexually viable, that he's even a man or that he exists at all. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so that's essentially what mm -hmm. happens. So you see how like your view of these things. And then I told you 1.5% of men make $70,000 a year and are even five foot 10. Isn't that crazy? Right. And then now here's the other thing. What is that? What would that do? Those 1.5% of men, do you think they're getting more attention or less attention? More attention. They're waiting for you to tell them. Less. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're getting less attention. Yeah. 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 And they well, give me more. But I mean, that can go the same for women. Like, if I came on here and I said I had a body count of seven, how many people would believe me? None. Double it. I would believe you. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I mean, let's be let's go around the table real fast. Let's let's and you, this is not you. I'm saying if you take the average, let's say 25 year old woman, right, unmarried, went to college and maybe has a career or whatever. What do you think her body count is? We could start here and then work our way. Average 25 year old woman, single, no kids, unmarried. Do you have a statistic for that? Right. Hmm? Statistic for that? No, and this doesn't. isn't re representative of you. It's just the women that you know in your life or women that you've come across in general. What do you think their body count so is? So people that I know personally. Or you've heard of, or whatever, in general, from your experiences, twenty-five years old, unmarried, single, no Ball kids. Ballpark estimate. What do you think their body count is? And let me start off. I don't know these women's like that. I know them from Miami. Just give us the number. <laughs> Just give the number. Girl. At don't least be scared. like two hundred, three hundred. Damn. What? Wait, no, no. A no. woman with three hundred men that that's they had crazy. sexual intercourse with. Yes, that's a whole school. Uh, girl. You're thinking that's <laughs> average. <laughs> This is madness. You think the I'm average say, woman say, has look, had sex with 300? Is there a woman in here who's even close to 300? If you, think about, it, if you no. think about it, right? 25. If you fuck one man a day, that's 365 already. Who's fucking one man yeah, a day? Someone that's horny. prostitutes. There's people that get paid. There's sex trafficking. Like, there's okay. a lot of things that can play into it. One more one. That's fine. What about you? What do you think the average girl is 25 years old? Jesus um, Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. Christ. Demographics about the region, though. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to say like seven. Seven? Um, Wait, bodies? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm, probably like 10. 10? 10? Yeah, I would say the average is 10. Yeah, I would say the same 10. 10. Really, ladies? Not me personally. But at the same say, time, um, I'm going to say like 10. 12. 10. Like 12, 12 13. Yeah. You know what, I, what, I what did you say? Oh. But at the same time, it doesn't matter. Like, Wait, what was your number first? I said 10. You said 10? Yeah, but my reasoning for that is because it doesn't matter. You're going to look at a woman, you're going to assume right. um, she probably got 20 bodies, 100 bodies on her. Don't it doesn't matter. Pretty. I can tell you I have one body, you still won't believe. Yeah, but that's, right. that will get to right. the reason why that's actually relevant. Go ahead. Uh, Same thing, like 5 to 10 range. You think, okay. Yeah. A girl do, 25 do, years old. Not married, whatever, 10, 5 to 10? Yeah. Okay. And then what about you? I said like 12. Wow. Do you have numbers on this? No. I just I always like to ask that to see kind of where they are. But it's interesting because that number is actually higher than the, the male. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's that easier was for and, yeah. and that's what they, and that's, you know, the funny part is that's what they think. And we all know that women underreport their sexual partners. Yes. And men yeah. overreport their yes. sexual partners mm -hmm. and then become dating coaches. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, totally, we totally know about that. So that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's an interesting point as well. So I'm just curious real quick. Leads on the panel. The guy you described earlier that Michael answered guys about, have you ever dated him either now or in the future? Have you ever dated him at, at all or no? No. I mean, maybe possibly like I, I dated someone. Um, He was like maybe 70% of what I wanted. And we dated for like eight years. Um, and what happened? Um, we We're not together because he just needed to find out what he wanted to do with, his, with himself. He didn't have any admission. And I felt like me being with him at a young age didn't let him like mm. be able to figure out what he wanted to do with himself. So you broke so, up with him? Um. We both agreed to separate, um, and then I moved here. But we're still friends, like you know. But... I feel like Chris is looking at me. <laughs> yeah, really but funny. yeah, he just, can, we just needed I, to separate. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Did you stop having sex with him, and then you guys came to this uh, this uh, mutual agreement. mutual agreement? Okay, so we were together for <laughs> yes. eight years, and um, it was just kind of like toxic in the end. But we were still we were weren't together, but we were still having sex because okay. he was the only sexual partner I had at the time. Got it. So okay. I just like didn't want to have Found sex. The with him for you were with him for eight years. How old are you? I was I'm 25, but we dated when we, when we started high school. So I dated mm. him through high school and college. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nigga had said he pussy for eight years. God damn. God damn. <laughs> so, well, I mean, she, she well, what probably we entertained other guys. What were we saying? No, I wasn't on. entertaining other Stop guys. What were we saying on the on the previous show? Well, it's like, what's the average duration of a marriage? Five to nine Five, years. Nine years. Yeah. By the way, that, that's probably what the average duration of a, of a, like a caveman's pair bonding was <laughs> fifty five thousand years ago. Yeah. Uh, I bet. I bet you if we can survey on, that, you know. it would be the same <laughs> as the average so marriage. Do you think in the future you're gonna find that man knowing all, all the stats? Yeah. Because I don't have, like, I don't think my standards are over, are over. No, we, we, tell we, me the odds. We, we, we looked up your standards. <laughs> no, I said 5'10". Wait, maybe the 70K was maybe a little over because mm -hmm. I have my own income. So I feel like combined income mm. also counts. You know, that, you know? Cool. I got a better question here. Ladies, now that you guys know the reality of what your standards, uh, how much of those guys are actually out there. Are you going to change and or lower your standards to I'm find that guy? I'm not lowering my standards. I said seventy k. I didn't say for him. Okay. Maybe what about him. what about you? Are you lowering your standards now that you know? Absolutely not. You won't. Okay. <laughs> no. What about you? No. 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 Probably not. Okay. No. <laughs> no. 
women are stubborn. Okay. I was know that. <laughs> okay, yeah, you were fairly realistic. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is perfect proof that even when women know that their guy is extremely hard to find, they refuse to lower their standards. We know. How about let's have fun with this? Let's say you find that guy, but he wants to have other women. He wants to have you as a girl on his team. Maybe you may be the main girl. Who knows? Are you willing to accept the fact that he's probably going to go ahead and entertain other women? Now, listen, ladies, you are the queen, and they're, they're all hoes. All right, we're going to use the Justin Waller term. So, are you, are you okay with and this? The other guys, the other girls, she's with are hoes. Are you okay with this? Yes or no? No. You just keep it real. One one at a time. Not right now. No. Okay. What about you? Um, I feel like especially right now, being the fact that I'm 22, of course, as long as what I need is taken care of, uh -huh. 100%, okay, so you will accept infidelity, and you uh -huh. have the means to take care of me the main, and okay. everything side else, of mm -hmm. course. Okay, That's what crazy. about you? Uh, I, I mean, it definitely <laughs> depends, like where we stand in the relationship and the rules and stuff. Um, at this age, probably not. Who gets not. to make the rules? Um, I think it has to be a mutual thing. Uh, right. So do you think a guy of that level that you want is going to sit there and negotiate with you? Yes. <laughs> I think there's, so. Mathematically speaking, there's way less well, of him remember, than you. Well, remember, my guy was 5'7", and that was based on 5'10 mm. and mm. up. I'll bet you it's fewer than 5%. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my hopes alive. Yeah, I'm that's, manifesting that's okay. him. That's okay. You are Go gay queen, anyway. Manifest that. <laughs> I'm manifesting it. Damn. Guys are always talking at her girls. I wouldn't be surprised. But would you would you accept it in, in a pseudo monogamous? Uh, actually, it would be called a polygynous relationship. Would you be the main and he gets side pieces? Yeah. Would you accept a polygynous relationship? I mean, if we discussed it and came to an agreement, I would be for it. That's crazy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a contract you can like sign? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Right. Yeah. I'll give you the PDF later. I'll give you the PDF <laughs> later. Go ahead. All right. What about you? I feel like if a conversation Mark. is had, then yeah, you can definitely, you know, have the best of both worlds. But as long as I'm, you know, well taken care of and I have the, the crown, crown on my head. Yeah, the crown. It's a, look, we agree I'm on the cool. crown. Very nice. All right. All right. Cool. So it's the understanding then. You feel me? As long as it's the understanding. But if you're doing stuff behind, behind my back, back then that's a different up. story. Right. That's fair. That's fair. What about you, Arizona? I would say no. No. Because like there's so much stuff going around. Like, no, I'm not doing that. No. Interesting. No. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So let me get this straight. You're saying no, but he's going to do it anyway. You're right. He is going to do it anyway. And so I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to leave. How you going? How do you know? How would you know? Because my, I know I have a gut feeling. Oh, it'll tell me. She hey, feels man. Like it. Like it. Oh. No. Hey, man. Those white men are crafty. They'll oh, trick they you. are. They'll, They'll trick you. That's right. why you Let's say you say you know know. Off. You do realize that there's Belfort. a lot less of him than you. So would you actually like leave and just realize, okay, it's, I'm not, I got a less than a 1% chance of finding this guy again. And that nigga loved you too. Loved your ass, nigga. You know, there's a billion people in the United States. I'll find someone. 336,000. 336 million. Oh, God. Not quite a yeah, billion. And the Not guy literally that, a billion. The guy There's that you 7 want billion is, in the world. Because your guy is uh, six foot. <laughs> one, I think. No, you want a guy that was six foot. Over 5'10". Or over 5'10", yeah. And 100K per year, so... Okay, maybe I need to like <laughs> knock some You're stuff. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so you want to lower your standards a bit? So it's point two three percent of Money wise, one percent. Money wise, I'll lower my standards. Mm -hmm. Okay. But anything else, no. For All sure. right, so you're lower your standards over accepting infidelity. One billion. Mm. God, how how much would that oh, suck God. to get cheated on by a guy who made forty k? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh, no, no, yes, no. No. Good game. Pass interference, yeah. defense. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, as in what? Like you're lowering your standards, or you're accepting infidelity? Okay, God, I'm not gonna lower my I'm not gonna lower my standards. Yeah, okay, so you gotta yeah. accept infidelity then. God. Yeah. Bitter pill, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you? <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. Yeah. Um, as long as there is like communication and I know that you're doing shit, then yeah. I mean I don't care, but don't let me find out with who. Right. And don't do that shit in front of me. Don't put okay. it in your face. But he's gonna expect yeah. you. Don't ever. Just by the way, but he's gonna expect you to be loyal. Are you okay with that? And I will. Okay. Okay. Is okay. this something you've seen? Is this a paradigm you've seen working in nightlife? Uh, I've seen it millions me too. of times. Okay, that's why I was millions. bringing that up. I'm yeah. very desensitized yeah. to it. So awesome. honestly, I don't care. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. What about you? Um, I like girls. Yeah. So hey. You know. <laughs> What if I'm she down. cheats on? Oh, wait, let's let's get her IG one more time. Let's get it up there. I'm just kidding. I like girls, so um I don't mind having sex with females. I actually had sex with more females than men, actually. 
Um, and she's so got yeah. a master's no, no, degree. But, but hold on. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I'll be like, we're going to fuck her together. No, no, but we're seeing no. him separately, not you involved. Yeah. I don't mind as long as I'm getting my bills paid and I'm not the cap. Yeah. I don't care. Okay. Seems to be the general consensus. Mm-hmm. If security is taking care of, then opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. You know. Interesting. All right. Uh, did you have another question before I hit the chats? I got a question. I got a question. Yeah, go Ladies, ahead, let me just go a quick lightning round here. Uh, if you found your ideal guy and you found out he was in prison or he was a criminal and can... was a convicted criminal, but he's out of jail right now, would you get with him? Uh, we'll yeah. start here and then work our way this way. So the question is, would you get with a convicted felon if would, he was would, your ideal, if he was your you. ideal man? Would this stop you? He is a convicted felon. He's got one one strike. No, but he I makes can't. he makes seventy thousand. He's six foot tall. Care. He's made, it meets you know, all your other criteria. He's a free I man think, now. Yeah, like I feel like <laughs> merch. Just based on experience, not myself, but my sister. Like she's been with men. Stop she's been with men like that before, and it's very toxic. I like being at peace with my energy. Mm. I don't not want someone like that. Merch. So like I could be friends with someone like that, but I can't be in a relationship. With no, like we're not that. with the felons. Yeah, okay. no. Okay, so felons. that's a no for right, you. So just I got, just I got news for you. You work at a nightclub. Half the dudes you work with are felons. Go ahead. The question is, was he gay for the stay? Was he what? Oh, gay wow. Oh, what? Did, he, did he let a dude go down <laughs> on him? Oh, yes. oh. How would you Let's know, just though? assume no, I guess. <laughs> Presume no. Or you don't know, yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't care. No. Okay. I wouldn't care. Go ahead. What did he do, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's say, say it was a violent crime, yeah. Okay, then no, Ben there did that, but... <laughs> yeah. If he out here killing kids, raping children, you know, that's no, different. He, then he's not out here. So you're saying you would you would give him a chance? If he's if, a felon, it depends on what he did, though. Like, just say violent crime, did armed it, robbery, armed then, robbery. Yeah. You'd give him a chance. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. You said Binder, Binder did, did that as she well. She did it, felons. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. Mean, he what did, did they it? Do? Robbery. Yeah. Robbery. Okay. All right. What about you? No. Why not? Well, it depends on the crime. If it was a violent crime, you never know what could happen. He could be a dream guy, but you never know what can bank happen. Bank robbery. Right. DUI. Oh. Like uh, that happens to everybody. Everyone has. Would one. you take the bank robbery? <laughs> Everyone has a DUI. You know <laughs> huh? Maybe I would take the bank robbery. To be honest, would it make you hotter for him if he was a bank robber? Um, if he has tattoos as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So, okay. so thugs are in. Uh, what about what about you? Uh, yeah, it depends on the crime. For the most part, no. But oh yeah, for the most part, I wouldn't care. But he can't be in and out of prison yeah. right. can't do that for sure so no. you can only be a there. felon one time yeah one time one time all right. one time all right what about uh you would you take well that's a yes waiting outside the prison in her car yeah. Yeah. No, no, no but that's what i was about to say though no like if no not no, so much no, no not so armed much. robbery um armed robbery if he didn't kill anybody then yeah <laughs> sure why not um but like you gotta get out establish yourself i'm definitely not outside waiting for anybody i'm not sending no letters i'm not putting money on nobody's books like that's all the fact that she even knows those terms already tells you all right what about you yes or no would you take a felon like they said depends on the crime but if he's very well educated and self-sustainable yeah there was a criminal that everyone was aware of girls here would take a criminal remember uh prison bay the guy that was in uh with the tattoos light skin everybody wanted him and he was a convicted yeah. criminal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what did know. he do though? I forgot. I don't. I, don't I forgot. Honestly, I, don't I don't yeah. forgot. But that's how little hey, it matters. He got out. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay. So, um, anything else you guys want to ask before I hit the chat? Super chats. Go okay. Ahead. Um, question for ladies: If you believe we live in a patriarchal society, why does most laws protect women and punish men? That's from Cam two times bro. Mm, nobody cares. Cares. Donald Trump goes uh, the reason for high gas prices is all our petroleum had to be used to make enough Vaseline for fresh as ass your feet <laughs> thank you Donald Trump I appreciate oh, that fuck, bro. Oh, come on, for ladies bro. on the panel do you think it's okay for a man to sleep with a woman that has HIV but is on medication what the what fuck, the fuck? <laughs> alright right. the answer to that one is a big fat uh, no, no. no. Uh, here's a donation for having to deal with that he she last after hours episode hopefully tonight goes smoother yeah that was, a, yeah, that was a headache question for ladies when your man is done, do you think you made him? What? I don't what? Know. Like, like finish? Like, like finish? Hey, uh, I think he means like when they break up, if um, she helped him succeed or something like that. Okay. Okay. But, Spider-Man, mm-hmm. question for the panel. What is the two most attractive traits in a man for you concerning the way he looks? Just real quick. Just, yeah, yeah, we can go on the table yeah. now. We'll start here with Brazil. Two most attractive traits uh, on a man based on looks. looks. Yeah, looks. Start with you. What makes you hot? Teeth, hair, mm. clothes. I would say abs. 
and okay, teeth. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. See? Yeah. So I got right good here. teeth. Yeah. I'm going to go with <laughs> the tattoos and like your teeth, your smile. Damn. I got okay. both of those. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I think you have to look clean. I think you have to look clean and well kept. Oh, you're out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. So clean and well kept, you said? Because mm-hmm. he's not clean and well kept. That's mm-hmm. why I said. <laughs> All right. What about Dirty. you? Great smile, great body. Yeah, okay. I'm good with the smile and tattoos. So we- Did you say earlier that you'll do a dad bod, though? Yes, but it depends on the person. Personality. But I, yeah, I mostly prefer abs. <laughs> so but that's not dad a dad bods, bod whatsoever. Dad bods Stupid. are great, too. Just See, see guys, well, they, they always uh, contradict themselves. <laughs> what about depends. you? What about you? Um, Nice teeth and tattoos. Okay. God damn it, man. <laughs> All right, what about you? I like chest, hair, and veins for some reason. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah. I, like, I like that. I That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and like veins like down there and like up here. Oh, up here right. down there. Didn't yeah. you also say you would be okay with a dad bod? Yeah. You do realize with a dad bod, you're typically not going to be vascular? Okay, I, I'll be okay with that. I probably won't go with them, but I'll be with somebody else. But I don't know. Did that, make sense? Did that make sense? That's bitch. That didn't make sense at all. <laughs> No, like, yeah, I'll go with the dad bod, but I'll also get with the guy that has veins and stuff. Too. Oh, there you go. So she'll extract resources from the dad bod guy, but she'll <laughs> fuck the guy in shape. Fantastic. There you, go. Right. <laughs> there you go, guys. Uh, what about you? Tattoos and smile. Okay. Mm. I have no fucking shot in this. <laughs> I'm going to leave. What about you? Um, I like the smile and facial hair. I like beards. I don't know. Okay. Hey guys, I, I just want to bring up something. So I'm actually kind of offended by the whole dad bod myth. It's nonsense. Uh, here's what here's what I've heard. Like the science would say, when a man gets pregnant or when a woman gets pregnant, uh, the man who she's living with, he starts developing what's called prolactin, which causes him to take on more body fat. You, you nurse, so you understand what I'm talking about. That look of the da- that dad bod look is the look of a man who's staying home with the wife. So that's a comfort building look. Um, and so, and often when we see dad bods, what are we looking at? We're looking at celebrities. We're looking at Vince Vaughn or we're looking at J- Seth Rogen Leonardo or something like DiCaprio that. Leonardo now. DiCaprio mm-hmm. or, or um, Elon Musk. When we look at that, he already has status, mm-hmm. right? And then he has dad bod, which builds him comfort. But I, I refuse, I'm sorry, this is just me. I refuse to believe that women are physiologically stimulated like sexually stimulated by dudes who are pasty and white with fucking blubber around their waist. I do not believe that. I think you guys are. Well, their answers right now literally contradict me. I, I, make, I made yeah. a mental note of the girls that said nice body, but they in the I, prior, they we, said dad bod's okay. We, we literally had a girl on our show say that the whole dad bod thing, and then I, her ex-boyfriend is a fucking oh, male stripper, bro. It was just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, this dad bod thing. I, what I think it is, is that you guys would like, it, it, it comes off as a very comfortable, submissive man who's going to stay at home with you. And I think you find that very comfortable and maybe attracting, but it's not alluring. Like, I I just have a hard time believing that you guys are set like your vaginas get wet for a dude who's pasty and muffin top. I just don't believe that. Yeah. I'm sorry. This yeah, it's attractive, but it is not arousing, which yeah. I've come yes. to realize those women are two completely separate mm-hmm. things. Yeah. Girls will be attracted to that, maybe, but they're not aroused by it. Another thing, too, I love that you mentioned it's typically tied to someone's status mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that guy's mediocre physique is compensated through their extremely high status. Yes. Leonardo he, DiCaprio he becomes more attainable. Elon Musk. Uh, 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 Leonardo mm-hmm. DiCaprio with six-pack abs becomes doubly unattainable because of his status in the six-pack abs. Mm-hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio, who's pasty and white, now he and overweight, he now becomes a slightly more attainable. That's very comfortable. You can also imagine him helping you to take care of the kids because that's the the shape that men take. Dad the, versus cat. The reason why it's an evolutionary adaptation because men get less sleep once the child, you know, when ch- child is born, so they, they store more fat because of it. And that's the reason where the dad bod thing's coming. But I, I truly believe it's a myth. I think it's nonsense. But yeah. The reason why I bring it up is because I think it's unhealthy for men to hear from women to go have a fucking dad bod. <laughs> These guys are broke. They have no status whatsoever. And ladies are telling them to go get a fucking dad bod. You know how hard it is for me as like a performance coach? I have to sit there and deal with this shit when women are like saying this. And I'm like, no, dude, you got to get in shape. Seriously, mm-hmm. you have to fucking get in shape. And then when they do that and then all of a sudden more women are attracted to them. I'm like, do you see how what you heard from Disney and these women on these TV shows and all this shit was one thing. And then now you have more women in yeah. your DMs when you have six pack abs. You see how these things don't match? Because rule number one in MOA, we don't listen to the fucking words. You know, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's an add on to that. And I just saw, uh, I think it was uh, Chris Williamson was talking about this, is saying that like the reason why women are more attracted to dad bods is because those guys are less likely to cheat. Yeah, for sure. Less likely to be like a, a flight risk, I guess, as mm-hmm. far as as far as that goes. And I, 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 I thought that was kind of laughable because, again, it's there's arousal and there's attraction. 
if you ask the average woman like what what do you what do you want in a guy what do you what are you looking for in a guy she will give you all of these long-term security qualifications yeah. that he has nice to kind. have for the future and then you say well what gets you hot what makes you aroused by like what physical features do you like that's when you get into the arousal factor have the girls tattoos here oh i believe you guys at... sleep with dudes tattoos yeah. i don't believe that's not <laughs> bullshit at all uh, well, no like cap it's a danger trait you know yeah, yeah um, it is it, 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 it is. shows tribal alignment and the ability to take risk which were the, from an ancestral period those were things that were attractive uh, uh attractive i think to i should also say this is that i think that a lot of guys who align up with that and they go oh yeah yeah women really like guys who say they really the women really do like dad bods that's an intrasexual combat there's like it's almost like a fat chick telling another fat chick, "You look great, girl. Don't worry about anything. You just, you know." Yeah, and you know you're, you're not going to lose your man to him yes. because you or to her because yes. you just told her she it's looks just, great being yeah. overweight. It's basically right. sabotaging your competition. When do we get stuff? Is cold. I thought he was supposed to be on the show in November. Uh, yeah, um, he comes through, man. Yeah, <laughs> maybe December. Uh, ladies, what married women in your life do you look up to and why? Yeah. Hmm. Jamal Adam. Do any okay. Uh, do you guys have any married friends? Yeah, do you guys have yes. any married women that you look up to in my, your life? My mom. Okay, okay. she's married. Oh, that's beautiful. My okay. mom is married. Um, yeah, she, they just have a really good relationship. They've been together since I was six. Right. And they raise their children together like a family, as they nice. should. Nice. Oh. What about you? Um, I would say my mom as well. My family parents, still together? Yeah, 30 together. plus years. So that's right. like my... Do you want to get married? Honestly, it's... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an honest answer. All right. What about you? I don't look up to anyone in a relationship. Fantastic. Not what even, about you? Not, hold on. Not even Meg Thee <laughs> <laughs> um, Everything on social media is not right. what you would think. Rule it number is. four, because, social like, media is fake. For example, like, I'm not trying to throw my mom's business Well, I remember saying married women in your life. Yeah, my mom's married. Like, I have a stepdad. So, like, hmm. she, they've been married for 11 years. Y'all said, like, the range from was it like nine years? Y'all said that's when it like mm -hmm. stops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've been married eleven years. Tell me why my mom's unhappy mm -hmm. and wants a divorce. Mm -hmm. So, and well, I'm over here thinking like, oh, how old is your happy. mom? She's probably like forty three. Do you want to get married at some point? With this generation, <laughs> I was kidding. Yeah, Bro, I, I think that could go back to our stats. I think the big reason why she's not divorcing is because she's at that point now, forty three, where she if she gets passed. back on the market, mm -hmm. the streets are cold. Oh, oh, oh no. no, my mom can go back in the market. She fine. She can go back on the market. So, <laughs> no, I'm just sharing. so so let me get it straight. That guy stepped up to be your stepdad, mm -hmm. and now your mom's about to tell him to step step back down. I mean, I don't call him dad anyway. So I mean. <laughs> bro, yeah. the, the disrespect, I mean, bro. Realistically I'm you. speaking, you do realize that if your mom does get back on the market, right, at 43 years old, she's going to be competing with girls that are 23 years old, right, for the same men. I mean, I mean, I don't think she's going to get with a younger man. Myron, like, there's probably always someone only older. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. The older men that are her age, 43, mm -hmm. she's competing with women that are 23 to get that 43-year-old man. You're right, but my mom's going to do whatever she wants. So if she wants to do that, she's going to take the risk. Go, Queen. I'm on the bet. Uh, you know, I don't know. We did literally a whole podcast on this later. It's 50-50, it's, it's but I mean, her chances of going ahead and getting back in the dating game and finding a guy after at 43, yeah. very slim. What if they got her? What if she's not going back in the dating game? What if she's going back to someone that she used to be with? Oh, wait a second. Back Time to out. The so so you're, you're telling me that not only another dude came and helped, <laughs> it was married her after no. she had kids with someone else that she's now going to leave him no. and then go back to someone else that she used to be sleeping no, with? No, I said, Bruh. what if like she was to go back yeah. to like, someone well, you got, that, that would Well, that would assume that the person that she's going back to would want her back, which if she broke it off, they might not. I wouldn't. Right? Yo, it's been 11 wait, years. On. What are we talking about? You know what here? I love? She said it earlier, I never called him dad. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, wait, how long, how long were we together? 11, 11, years? 11 years and they have a kid. So. Bro. God damn. That's why y'all should never be stepfathers, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. That's that's that shit's an L. We've that is the worst L, L, L. you can hear not, from a no, that's kid not that you true. raise. No, it is true. I'm blaming it all. If you love her and she have kids, you could be with her. It just depends on the relationship. Mm, thought mommy's in the club. <laughs> thought mommy's in the club. Okay. No. Okay. You know what? Let me have fun with this. Let me ask you a question. Let's say your son, right, who's successful, built up a business, maybe makes five hundred thousand dollars a year, successful. He wants to marry a, a woman that's thirty-two years old with three kids. Would you? Would you seriously allow that? To as be honest, mom? if it was my son, I wouldn't want him to do that. Why not? Why not? 
because he's my son. I don't want him. Like, mm, that's a lot of baggage. Son. It's a lot right. of baggage. Oh, all of a sudden. It's a lot of baggage. When it's your own son, you start being a lot more pragmatic. Like, yo, what the my fuck son. are you doing? Okay. But in my mom's case, my stepfather, he they started dating when I was six. Yeah, but you're not related like, to your stepfather and you are related to your son. Do you see how yeah, his interests align my, a little bit more? I have more. a lot of respect for my stepfather. Sure. You know, I so, would too. I mean, like, seriously. I, if, I call him dad in front of my sisters because sure. those are his children. I would never want them to call him by his name. Yeah. But I have respect for him. Like, I would never disagree But that's that you. Man. But how many stepdaughters don't? Or how many stepkids don't? Right. Well, that means the person that he's dating didn't put rules in the family. Like, yo, this is your stepdad. You have to show respect. So I'm why Spanish. why I'm even go through that when you can just make your own kids and not have to deal with you that can. potential barrier? You can. But if you're in love with someone, like my stepdad loves my mother. Then I mean, it worked out for you, but I'm saying in general, it's an L for most guys to go ahead and for get most married. Guys, to yeah. yeah. So, and I mean, even when we took the risk with your own son, you were like, nah, don't, don't fucking yeah, do it. Yeah, because no. Yeah. Because it's funny, son. in that scenario, the respect has to be there. So you made a good point. If they made the, from the very beginning, the foundation is, hey, he's your stepdad, listen to him. But if that doesn't happen, there's no respect. And it's yeah. never going to work out. Yeah. Uh, okay, going back, what was that question again uh, on the super chat? What was it? It was, um, was it, are there any married women that you, yeah. oh, yeah, that you look up to? She was next. Any um, if, if there's none, that's fine. You're next. Now, my grandparents have been actually married steadily for about 50 years now. Nice, and, nice. Um, yeah, I look so up to grandma them very well. Yeah, why do you think it lasted so long? I honestly don't know, huh? There was no social, there was media. no social media, yeah, there, it was right. different back okay. in their day. That could good point, good point. Interesting. Yeah. What about you? No, none. Okay, what about you? Uh, my grandparents were married, and my grandma still goes and cleans my grandpa's grave and stuff. Mm. It's cute. Aww. Nice. Yeah, it's cute. That's, 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 that's so love. That's so sweet. Love right there. Okay. He escaped. What about you? What about you? Uh, no, right now, fresh. You... No. No? Okay. I'll say my grandparents. Okay. Um, why Why do you think your grandparents? Like, how, like why? Well, why? Why did it last so long? Um, like they said, there weren't as many distractions as there were back yeah, in the day. Sure. Yeah. I got a question for ladies after this. Mm. Who do you think social media has impacted negatively in relationships more? The men man. or women? Mm. Start here and work our way back. Who is it? So one more time. Damn, I got to remember that. Who one. <laughs> has social media affected ne affected negatively in relationships more, men or women? And why? And why? Go ahead. I think social media has been affected affecting men more negatively. Why? Um, I just feel like for some reason. Be prepared to defend your stance, ladies. I when am. I ask you this, I just feel like men are just. Are they're just treated like they don't got emotions or anything, and they're supposed to be a certain way. And with social media, um, I mean, at the end of the day, like the girls, like if there's a story, here's an example, right? Let's say me and somebody are dating, uh -huh. right? And let's say we end. Most people are going to assume that the male fucked up by whether cheating or whatever. Yeah. And it's just that toxic or trolling, whatever those terms are, and negative messages, whatever. So that's my opinion. I think men get it worse because, like I said, I feel like they can't even voice their own opinion without being said, you're a homophobe, you're this and that. So, so okay, let me try to, I guess, make sure I have that correctly because yeah. you're kind of all over the place. Yeah, else. you can dumb it down. Yeah, yeah, so you're saying that men experience social media negatively more in relationships because they can't be honest? I feel like, yeah, because women oh, doesn't harsh. know how harsh. to take honesty straight okay. up. You need a sugar coat. So it affects... well, what does that have to do with social media? I'm sorry. I'm just saying like the same thing is on social media. Like men can't just be straight up honest without being labeled as misogynist or narcissistic. Hmm. Misogyny. Okay. So you're saying it hurts men more in relationships because they can't be honest. No, no, not relationships. I'm just saying. <laughs> but that was a question. I'm just saying with as a whole. Yeah, but the question was in for a relationship. For a relationship, then a woman, yes. Why a woman? I don't know. I just think that it would be a woman. I don't know the stats. That Bruh, was a lot of stats. Why, why do you think what you think? It's just what I see online. Yo, I know I'm on a diet, but this is worse, Alan. <laughs> God right. damn. Uh, you know what? I'll come back to you. Um, ladies, again, the question is, who do you think social media affects more negatively in dating, men or women, and why? Um, I think it negatively affects women more why mm -hmm. why 
Um, I feel like March. March. We have a T-shirt that says "I feel like thank you." <laughs> um, no, but I feel like March. March. Stop. <laughs> Just say I think. I think. There you, there go. you go. Yeah. 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 That, will, that, will, that will change your life. That one change right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah. Think. Yep. yeah. Cool, cool. So I think that. Um, I feel like I'm sorry. Oh, gotcha. Yo, she was oh, running back. God. She's like, I think. No, 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 I feel no, like. no, 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 no. Malfunction, like me. Because women are naturally, I feel like, um, just more loyal. I feel like in a relationship, merch. I... All right, women are more loyal. They're, they're more loyal. Okay. They're more loyal. A, a man is going to um see anything on social media and be ready to fuck like i, I don't but can like... he fuck <laughs> no do you see the problem but that's still that's still like cheating but he can't but that's still che- even you trying is still okay, let's get their answers first and then we can in my opinion the, okay so you think women because it affects women more because they're loyal and men look at girls and cheat <laughs> okay. And Menchie. All right, cool. What about you? Um, I think that social media negatively affects whoever is least attractive in the relationship. Because mm. it's like you're always looking at your competition, you know? Like there if you go. slip up, there's like 10 people in their DMs ready. So mm-hmm. choice paradox. Yeah. If you don't do what I say, someone else will. Yeah, but I mean, yeah that's true. That's yeah. a good point. That's another reason why I won't lower my standards. All right. Mm-hmm. I think it affects both men and women. Okay. Negatively. Why? 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 Uh, why on the female? Why in the male? Um, for both, I think everyone gets jealous. DMs are open for both people. Okay, jealousy for both parties. Yes. Okay, interesting. All right. I agree with both. Okay, um, why? Because as a woman, you're always going to be comparing yourself to a, um another woman and even as men get insecure and jealous too so i feel like they be comparing themselves to the men and that affects your relationship though depending on whose picture i like of course he might feel some type of way you know what i mean like okay. it just depends on the man himself we'll get the answers mike and then with. you can tell yeah. him the actual reality mm-hmm. here all right what about you i would say both too because Why? women like get jealous about another girl liking her man's photo right. men get jealous about when men dm their girl like it's there's really nothing you can say on it. It's both. Is that jealous equal on both ends? Yes. You yeah. think it's valid on both ends? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. You do too? Yeah. You think that jealousy is valid on both ends? Um, I think the woman more, to be honest. So the woman's jealousy is more valid? Um, yes. Why? Oh, sorry. You said the woman's jealousy Whose is Whose jealousy more is more valid towards the, uh, towards, uh, you know, being compared to the opposite gender? Does that make sense? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. Sorry. Okay. Bruh. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, it's just your opinion. It doesn't have to be like, who do you th- who do you think like who's more valid in their you know jealousy of? Oh, um, sorry, I just got your question. Um, I think both both are valid. What if you had to pick one? If who's actually more valid? One... Who's actually more capable of enacting on the jealousy? Um, I feel like women act more on the jealousy. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What about uh? What about you? Um, I would say it depends to me who's like the most insecure in the relationship. Okay. So I guess both. Mm-hmm. But um, women have a tendency to <coughs> build scenario in their head. So I'd say a little mm-hmm. bit more women. Mm-hmm. Imagination. Yeah. yeah. Just seeing a certain girl's like on her man's picture, like she builds this scenario in her head yeah. that her man's sleeping with this so and so girl. Sure. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, I think it affects men more negatively. I'm just Why? talking on my experience when I was dating someone. Um, I feel like women could pick who they want to be with. Men sleep with who they can. So Result like, of the play is a yeah. touchdown. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. So, um, in my but you're case, saying this is prior to social media. You think it's it's not like that anymore? Um, it's still like that because women we could choose who we want to be with. Like we could go out and pick a person to sleep with. Men they have to look around for someone mm-hmm. who was willing to sleep with them. So I feel like men it affects men negatively because they're like you're competing with men and you know like the girl if the girl you're with is attractive, you know that there's a bunch of men who's trying to. You know I think it's interesting because she sleeps with women that she understands that. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's part of the reason why mm-hmm. guys okay. it's un it's unassailably men 
that are getting destroyed because of social media. The reason why you guys are saying what you're saying is because the men you sleep with are attractive to you. When we've asked these questions before, we're asking for overall statistical surveys or whatever your opinion is, and you guys are giving anecdotal experience. You guys mm -hmm. understand anecdotal is your experience. Statistical would be a large population survey. Does that make sense? We talked about before, 33% of men are having no sexual partners. Yeah, we and, gave it's you guys a tip earlier. and it's literally because of social media. Do you guys understand? Mm -hmm. So the majority of these men are just being decimated because of social media. And I'll give you an example. Shout out to Jojo Von Salty if she's watching. In Wichita, Kansas, I met a 19 year old girl. She's a friend of mine. Uh, I was a captain in the Air Force. We, had, we hung out like a couple of times and uh, I never saw her again. She ends up on a, one magazine, two magazines. She's like one of the first girls on OF or on Instagram to hit a million followers, two million followers. Right now she has 10 million followers. She was the prettiest girl at the uh, at the Hooters in Wichita. The next time I saw her was on stage at Surrender in Vegas. And the next time after that was at Dan Bilzerian's house. There used to be a Wichita dating scene, a Des Moines dating scene, mm -hmm. a Waco dating scene. Locals. There used to be a Redmond dating scene. There used to be a Secaucus dating scene. Now there is one fucking dating scene and Drake and Justin Timberlake and Dan Drake. Bilzerian are at the, happy birthday, Dan. They're, they're all at the top of it. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? And so because of that, your anecdotal experience from Brock the bartender, you know what I'm saying, or Sam the male stripper, that's what you think of men. Those men may hurt you or make you feel jealous, and I totally understand that. But overall, the five foot five guy, remember the average North American male is five foot nine, has seven sexual partners, and one third of them have no sexual partners at all. Those guys are getting eviscerated destroyed by social media mm -hmm. it social media did not make it easier for men to meet women it made it easier for 20 percent of men to meet 100 percent of the women do you guys understand and so from your standpoint the only men you notice are the ones that are attractive to you and those men will just say for sake of argument they're in the top 20 percent and so because they're in the top 20 percent you're going to be like oh he makes me jealous of course he makes you jealous he's attractive women are actually liking him ladies let's be real on, on average <clears throat> if we go out right tonight let's just say we walk around on winwood somewhere in winwood the likelihood of you finding 10 men that would be willing to have sex with you, not don't you don't actually have sex with them but would be willing to have sex with you tonight the likelihood of that is what 100 100 now the, la the, guy, Say it with the last guy you've dated right now he goes and finds 10 women willing to have sex with him uh, on Winwood in Winwood. He was a whore, so yeah. Oh, he'd find oh yeah. He'd find 10. Okay. Oh, yeah. So so he what is it? nope. He's yeah, still I, I, I still really? I, I really disagree really? with you. Yeah. Um Be again, that comes back to women think that dating is as easy for them as it is for men. Yes. So mm -hmm. even if you take a guy that's extremely attractive, tall, ten thousand dollars in their pocket, Lamborghini parked outside, he goes into a club, he's still gonna have to put in work to get a woman to some so, degree. So, so yeah. versus you can go into that same club with nothing in your pocket, make a weird, strange noise. <laughs> Some guy will stop sex with you. He will okay. not, though. He's still going to have to, because girls are always going to want him. Oh, well, I want to know your personality. Oh, I want to talk to you more. So regardless of how attractive you are, you still have to put work to some degree, unless you're like an A-list celebrity. Do, do yeah. you at least admit that most men are not like your whore ex? Yes, okay. for sure. You can yeah. at least admit that. So you understand that most men are not going to have 10 willing, attractive females lined up in their DMs, but almost all women are. Do you guys want to see the difference? Yeah. So now when we break up, it's not symmetrical. You she have... just manufactured that scenario in her head. Yeah. And that was what she exactly said on yeah. her thing. Mm. Like you think if he went into a club, he would have 10 girls, but the reality is he wouldn't. Yeah. So, so he... you literally, it's, it's okay, I'll, I'll show you an example right now, <laughs> sight unseen post Malone wants to have sex with you tonight. Raise your hands, ladies. If you would have sex with post Malone tonight. It's exactly my point. Here we go. So the, and he's A-list celebrity. Like anyway, he's a celebrity. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I Jay, should know some of y'all probably capping, but, but uh, here we go. Jay, Jason Momoa. You would have sex with Jason Momoa tonight. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. Okay, he's ready? All, 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 all the gentlemen in the room. Okay. Ready? Margot Robbie from Wolf of Wall Street. Would yeah, you guys have sex with her? Oh, my so, God. I don't even, even if you know, like, white girls oh, should have sex with her. What is that? Mar right. The white, was the lead character for uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Suicide Squad. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Um, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Okay. Uh, how about um, Soma Hayek from Fresh Dust? I'll answer. What? Soma yeah, Hayek from bad. Dust Till Dawn. Women would have sex. Okay. Do you understand how with men, you say an attractive woman, 100% sex. Yes. Right now. Let's do it now. Let's get it going. Should be a no name, too. I'd say Post Malone is like has more value than me 150 <laughs> times over. None of you were willing to have sex with him. And that's the point I'm trying to make. So now so the Post point. Malone can't get girls to just go off and have sex with him. You really think it's the same thing when you guys break up? No, it's 100,000 to one. You could get, I mean, especially with social media, mm -hmm. that you could get guys to immediately commit, date, go on a date with you, have sex with you, whatever, compared to men, most men. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the five foot five mm -hmm. Filipino uh, cashier at Walmart. He is, does not have 10 women in his DMs trying to have sex with him. So I'm t telling you guys, if Thanks. you look at all men and question. all women, 
the, the social media has decimated relationships for most men. I got a question. Uh, so uh, is everybody, uh, everybody uh, here's on Instagram, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when, if I were to go to your Instagram right now, or if you're in, are you in a relationship? <coughs> how many people are in a relationship right now? I forgot you. Uh, anybody else? No, I have been in a relationship. Have you ever put your boyfriend in the, in the pictures on Instagram? <laughs> put you, if, you, if you show him, I did. put your pic pictures up there. I did. What was, your, be, what was the reaction when you did that? I mean, I dated him in high school in ninth grade, so everybody knew we were together. Okay. So, so we're okay. talking high school. We're talking high school. They were pretty supportive. Yeah. Nah, posting my boyfriend in college was the worst thing I probably could have done. Go, go, go. Everybody stopped fucking with me. Everybody stopped fucking with me. Everybody, Everybody's like, I lost mad followers. Not that I mean, all matters, the holes are gone. You know, I was literally. Love, Someone's but... at least being honest. Thank you. Yeah. Nah, but I mean, go ahead, bro, continue like, on. So you lost mad followers. What else? Yeah, I lost mad followers. A lot of the people didn't want to talk to me. Like, even the girls who I thought were my friends, but secretly one of my men, like, they oh. would stop talking to me. Like, I lost a lot of friends mm. yeah i guarantee you if, if you're the only fans back then you'd have lost subs too on only fans yeah. probably probably most likely mm -hmm. yeah that's that right there it, it speaks volumes in in the difference between what how how guys kind of get it you know get get the negative side of social media versus how women do because uh we've asked this question before it's like you look at like uh like aisha curry married to steph curry like she mm -hmm. still wants to have she still wants to be sexy she still wants to be on instagram even she's got two kids she's married to, or married to a you know a hall of fame nba player right mm -hmm. still not enough we were looking at uh, like on our show we've we've looked at uh like uh, professional soccer players where you've got the uh, the soccer player and his very gorgeous like supermodel girlfriend like ronaldo and i forget what her name is but they were doing side-by-side -side comparisons and if you look at the uh the soccer players uh his instagram they're on vacation same beach everywhere and you go and you look at the girls it's like the, even that ronaldo is not in the pictures of of the uh of the yeah. same vacation on the same beach she's just alone and you know like lounging in the surf somewhere mm -hmm. and that's really like because of social media and because of, of perception right now, yeah. it's just as you were saying before, it's a clout is collateral clout is currency. So mm -hmm. if like the, the risk of losing followers, especially when your ego is built and, and reinforced by followers, by likes, by subs to lose that. I think women are, are women are in, in particular are far more conscious of that than men are because they see social media as their fail safe, as their insurance policy. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't work out with this dude, at least I got Instagram. At least I got something. At least <laughs> yeah. I got some Sandra. backup program I mean, here in case sense. it, it, it blows. I don't you, want anybody to think I'm not. Yeah. Instagram I'll give you another, another, sales funnel. And, uh, another example. Right. Mm -hmm. So a typical couple, right? Mm -hmm. Here in Miami, they go to dinner, right? They both at the same dinner table. Who cool. the girl? Mm -hmm. Shut, shut up, Chris. The <laughs> girl posts a picture of the food and only her glass, <laughs> but not the guy. The guy posts him and her and posts it on, on his story, right? What happens is the girl got DMs and say, yo, where you at? I want to pull up. I want to take you out. The guy is like, yo, like, I'm going to post my girl because I love her. But if she posts him, our opportunity costs are going to go down because right. the guy's mm -hmm. going to be like, yo, she got a man? Fuck that, bro. I'm, I'm out. Right. So yeah. it's like it's a, a double-edged sword. Yeah. And most guys, how many, how many girls, most guys have common you, sense to some degree, and they see it for girls that come over. Like, how many girls, yeah. have the, the girls at this Facts. table right now? How many of you have like professionally shot pictures on your Instagram? Everybody, that are pro. raise your hand. Everybody, stop lying, uh, ladies. You I guys are so professional. Oh, yes. well, okay, and one more question for all of you here. Do you wear the same kind of outfits in the like? Do you look the same way in real life that you look like on yes. Instagram? No, no. I think I look better in real life. Yeah, like no. I went to your Instagram right now, you would look. Would, I, your yeah. ass wouldn't be hanging out of some thong on a beach somewhere. Yeah, hmm? yeah I, I would say this. Pretty much the same. No, 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 no. Yeah. Girl, Wait, can on. I say something? No, I would say this. Go ahead. We're posing. Am I gonna come up to you looking like a pose? No. So you, you gotta be realistic. Do you have a dog? Oh, have I'll pet? have a dog. No, and, and you have pets. Dogs do you put pets on your Instagram with you? No. Mm. Why not? I do. I don't use Instagram like oh, that. Oh, okay. So. You do. You have pictures of your dog on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, good for you. I, I think the takeaway <laughs> that we can take yeah. from, from this Instagram mm -hmm. is that average women have more options than the top 1% of guys. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. really what it comes yeah. down unless, to. Unless mm -hmm. he is Leonardo DiCaprio and she's morbidly obese, then they're tied. Yeah. we. I, I had this problem. We, we I went to Jamaica where, where with Mike Tang. We went for a Paradise Challenge. And when I'm there, there's this oh couple God. and they're like cucking each other. And I'm watching this shit happen right in front of me. And the dude's like barely getting a make out with one girl. And the girl has like seven dudes lined up to have sex with her. And I'm and the guy's like starting to get depressed. And I'm like, that's because there's no such thing as a polyamorous relationship that works like that. It doesn't work. So that's that's the thing that makes it, that makes it so difficult. But I, I have a question for you guys. So 
in, a, in my life, uh, when a girl that I'm dating who's really attractive posts me on her social media, what do you think happens to me? Anybody want to take a guess? Your value as a man goes up. But let me be more specific. <laughs> what happens? What do you think happens to me women on social are media? Be more you get uh, what, what, so what, what, what kind of messages do you think I get? You're, a lot of women are going to start staring at you because yes. I'm with you, you know? Like, yeah. That's just how it is. It's right. always been that so way. They're going to like certain stuff. They mm-hmm. might even like, have... They, there, it might be a girl that turned you down before, and then you get in a relationship, and then they're like, "Oh, oh right. sounds familiar." And the sounds, boyfriend sounds material. Familiar. Yep. No, this but one. other guys will look at you too, like, "Oh, he has a fine girlfriend." It's interesting. So that that t- does anybody not think that's what Stupid. the case is? Anybody not think that's what the case is when a man is with a, other women that women find him attractive? Does anybody not think that's the case? Okay, cool. The term for that is called mate choice copying, and it's mm-hmm. actually a psychological term. But here in this whole sphere, we call it pre-selection. The term is called pre-selection, and it's a real thing. Pre-selection only works one way, though. It does not work for women. Well, a woman sitting there with 10 dudes is not more attractive to us as a man. A woman, a, a guy with 10 girls, women will be like, he's a douchebag. I mean, you guys ever seen this? Like, if I told you a story. Am I but I'd a, fuck him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I tell you a story about, about Brad, he's Brad the bartender, and Alex the accountant, right? And you ask her a question. Hey, you know, I'm your friend. You tell me about Brad the bartender. Oh, Brad the bartender, what a piece of shit. This guy's a fucking asshole. He's a narcissist. I can't believe that this guy is in my life. He just, he lies to me all the time. It's terrible. Then he's ask you about Alex, the accountant and Alex, the accountant. He's so sweet. He does everything that I want, man. He's just so, he's such a fucking gentleman and he's like such a good listener. And he's like really there for me. Such almost like a, a brother. Nice guy. Ready guys? Who did she fuck? The bartender. Wow, the bartender. It's it, it, isn't it so crazy. Now as a man, I'm listening to this and I'm, so, I'm being told by Disney and my family and my church to be Alex, the accountant. But women vote with, with their vagina and, and they chose Brad. Do you guys see the problem here? Now, what's, what's happened? What, for me, paying attention or becoming aware of the matrix that I live in, mm-hmm. what am I going to do? I'm going to become more like Brad, the bartender. And then you guys are like, I don't know why these guys are all narcissists. They're all jerks. I don't know why they're all jerks. Wait, I, have <laughs> a, I have a question. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Pete Davidson? Uh, Pete Davidson, yeah. it's, uh, Pete Davidson is the greatest example of pre-selection I've ever seen in my life other than Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. Uh, it's, re- it's ridiculous. They, if it hadn't been for the, the line of girls that he was with, he wouldn't be dating the supermodels that he's with right now. That's true. He was with Ariana Grande first. Who would have thought he would yeah, be with Kim I Kardashian? I thought he was cute before that. On yeah, but SNL. he wasn't. He wasn't. Stop the cap. He wasn't Kim Kardashian. <laughs> like Kim Kardashian didn't date him because he's cute. She wanted validation. She's now a 40 year old woman who wants to be relevant. So, mm-hmm. so now being, being with Ariana Grande makes her, oh, I promise you, I, I will bet you any amount of money. She consulted with one of her her press people her before PR, she started PR, PR made people. that decision. I can yeah. guarantee you she consulted with her PR people before she started dating. I mean, they were also saying that because Courtney got with Travis and it changed like their image of the men that they usually go for. Well, but they have to, they have to get approval from their Courtney? PR manager and probably from Chris Kendall? before they start dating. Courtney. Whoever they're dating. Courtney. You guys notice that the, 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 the Kardashians are never dating normal accountants. They're always dating NBA players. They don't, always, they don't date the Filipino guy at CVS. Do you guys ever notice this? Like, it's just crazy. Like the, you guys see this over and over again like kim has been with four f- power forwards in her life like this is it's nuts the, the reason why is in their situation doesn't it make her relevant ariana grande is young and hot and pretty and now she's got ariana grande's <coughs> previous man you see what i'm saying that makes her relevant even though she's you know almost my age that's what happens and that's the reason why she does it that's how pre-selection works hmm. all right it also it also especially in the social media age it cr- creates what's called the choice paradox meaning that you think you have actually more choice than you actually do uh, mm-hmm. i mean we'll get to super chats here but i was going to add i think this is a good time to ask right now is if you found your ideal man you guys we went around here and you guys described what the <laughs> ideal man was if you found that guy out of the needle in the haystack if you found that guy would you give up your instagram to get with mm. that guy the guy or instagram okay we could start right here and then work our way or the girl in your case. Keep it a thousand. A thousand percent. I have a thing with control. I like doing what I want. That's Instagram. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm picking Instagram. Anytime they say that bullshit. So, you know, it's funny. What about Instagram you? represents control. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you? You drop an Instagram or the man? I don't like being told what to do, but. Instagram. Um, Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. All right, Danny. All right. Instagram. <laughs> okay. Instagram over the dream man. What? I'm choosing Instagram. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Can I have TikTok and Twitter still? And only no. Yes. no. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's part of my job. I gotta, no, all, gotta keep all, it. All That's to go. Somebody takes care of your bills and everything. You don't gotta work. Ideal. But you gotta get off social media. Just so have my babies. Ah, uh, sorry. No. It's part of her what? whole job. All right. What about you? I have to give up all social media? <laughs> yeah, all social media or your man. Mm. Ideal. It's dreamboat. Think about yourself. 
I don't know. Be selfish. Not be selfish. The answer is the Instagram. All right, go ahead. <laughs> when they got to think about it, it's you, yeah. They, yeah, it's a hard choice. I think I'm gonna get my social media. Mm -hmm. oh, go you, ahead, girl. Well, you give it up? Really? Yeah. Oh. Thug life. Wow. Yeah. All right, Juan. What about you? Are you giving up social media or your man? I'm giving up social media. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the majority of women, and you know, it's actually funny, ladies, we've asked this question quite a bit, and shockingly enough, the majority of women refuse to give up their social media, and I'll be honest with y'all, a lot of guys would prefer their girl not be on social media, Yeah, well, and I know a lot of girls care. are like, oh, well, that's insecure and that's toxic. Well, not really, because we already went over the fact that even average to mediocre women have more ch choice and selection in men than the top tier mm -hmm. guys. So men know this inadvertently, that women have way more options on social media. So most guys are like, yo, if I'm your man, why do you need to need to keep posting pictures of yourself on the Internet, be on social media, etc.? Put yourself in a position where other men can go ahead and try to proposition you for sex or some kind of courtship when I'm here. So a lot of guys, they won't admit this. But it's very extremely disrespectful to you for you to still maintain a social media profile, right? Especially when you're showing your body off when you're with a man. Yeah. But what is, sure. is he, huh? is he deleting his? Instagram yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, is he well, let me ask you. An okay, yeah. who else? Who else agrees well, with that sentiment of yeah, yours? Yeah, I have a question. One, I agree. One, two, like, is he gonna delete his too? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask you. You doing it too? Well, let me and you agree as well with that. Yeah. Period. Okay. Well, are men and women equal? No. So wouldn't it be fair to say that since we're not equal, we don't play by the same set of rules? Listen, no, but if we're in a relationship, we're supposed to be 50, doing it, 50. Period. Oh, really? Period. I feel like right, I'm a level. Stop. But... Stop the show. <laughs> <laughs> you described earlier a man that's pretty much superior to you in every single way. You expect that guy to be equal to you? 5 foot 10, 100 k per year? I mean, not like body and like physically wise. I mean, like logic wise. Like we should be equal. Like, you know? Like, that does not mean that you have less value than him, but you're trying to go ahead and say it's a 50-50 partnership with a man who's supposed to be better than you in every regard and be the leader. See how that doesn't make sense? Mm -hmm. You paying his bills? No. Thank you. But what uh, if you, you make money? Your children? So, so hold on. Do you guys understand that concept that like they're, you're, you're, what you want, right? Mm -hmm. You want a guy who's better than you, mm -hmm. right? But then at the same time, you want to be 50-50 and that's just not how the world works. And for you to say, well, you got to take your Instagram down too and I take mine. It's not the same because we just described a top 1% man still doesn't even get nearly the amount of attention as an average to mediocre looking woman. So we don't, we don't, it's not the same. Wait, what did you mean better? Cause I don't remember you saying like better, like what a guy mean? that's better than me. Like, what do you mean? Your man that you quite literally described is better than you. He's taller than you. Bare minimum, your height, if not preferably taller and makes more money than you. And he's probably more competent, experienced and some other things as well. To be able to make that want. kind of money. Yes. To make that kind mm -hmm. of money, he's going to have to be better than you on paper in almost every regard. And you expect that guy to go 50, 50 with you. doesn't make sense. I think what's interesting so, is like the whole con sense. the whole but control I mean, side of things. Like I want to yeah. stay with my Instagram because it gives me control. Yeah. So and that's why but, there's it's like yeah. this. It's like it's like uh, Russia and the United States saying we're going to de-escalate our nuclear arsenal and you de-escalate yours too, and then we'll have this sort of like we'll wait till you 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 delete Instagram, you delete Instagram, and we'll because you're giving up control. And I think that would would you say this? Would you say that the guy, if a guy had his Instagram and you did not, would he be more in control than you? Yeah. If he had his Instagram and I didn't, yes, because he has access to things that I won't be access so you think, to. If he think so he has you, a hand up on you, yeah, if he has Because he own. could possibly talk to other people through there. So right. if I'm like letting that go and that means I'm cutting off everyone mm -hmm. and I'm focusing well, you know on what? you. Let's have fun with this. You think that he, they're going to have the upper hand if they maintain their Instagram and you don't, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. I said that. Okay. Do you uh, do all the women here agree with that? That if he maintained his and you didn't have yours? We'll get to your question after, but... <laughs> Would you guys all agree with that? Raise your hands if you agree that him having your, his Instagram and you not having yours, he has the power and you don't. Yes, I think that. Ladies? Mm -hmm. Do you okay, guys agree? I guess yes. you do. It. Okay. Raise your hands. Make this very simple for you guys. Raise your hands if the guy gets control by having an Instagram while you don't. Raise your hands if he has control. He yes, 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 yes. Remember, yes. ladies, he has Instagram, you don't. Does he have, he has a control? Yes. Okay. And you two would prefer the man anyway. You don't think so? I don't think so. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. When do, Does the relationship work better if the man is in control or the woman is in control? Um, uh, I think it's supposed to be woman. equal. The to woman. be honest. No. No. One, one party's got to lead. The, Who no. needs to have control in the relationship for it to work? I like when the, the man is. No. Stop. One, one, at time. one at a one fucking time. time. Go ahead. Okay. Go. Got Technically, you know. men are supposed to be okay. leaders. What about you? Yeah. Depends on what I'm aspect, gonna say what I'm but I mean, I guess men 
Who had who needs to have the leverage slash control in the relationship for it to work? Men. Men. Women. <laughs> what about you? I think the man needs to have man. control. Yeah, I like when the man has control. Okay. Well, I want to go back to the social Please media thing the real quick. <laughs> no, because you guys Please are moving the question, so fast. Then we'll go to the social media thing. Okay, okay. Uh, whoever's paying the bills, I guess. Okay, prep for the relationship to work. Who needs to be in that position? For me personally, the man. Okay, so do you guys not see here how it contradicts? Like, I lose control, but the reality is the man needs to be in control for the relationship to work by your own admission. Yeah, that's why I'm single. Like, gotcha. No, like, like, <laughs> that's like, what I wanted y'all to not see this? Like, Yo, so if you notice, right, they want to have control, like Rolo said earlier, mm -hmm. and be the leader. But here's the funny part, right? Real quick, let's do a quick question here on the panel. Yeah, I know what you're going to ask. Name three countries outside the U.S. right oh, now from the top of your head. We'll start right here. Three countries outside the U.S. For what? Just hold on to your social media questions. Okay, I'm like, I'm three. Still yeah, don't worry. We'll we'll get to it. Any countries? Yeah, mm -hmm. any Venezuela, countries. Brazil, Sorry, Spain. Talking to the mic. My bad. Brazil, uh, Venezuela, Spain. Cool. And ladies, you can't use the same ones that she used just now. You have to come come up with new countries yourself. So you name three. Cool. Um, Ghana, Egypt, and Peru. Okay. Nice. There's Ukraine, Italy, Panama. What was the second one? Ukraine. No, you said Ukraine, and then the second country. Panama. Panama. Okay, oh. and then third. No. You said Philly? Philly. No, Italy. Sorry. Oh, Italy. okay. Yeah. Philly. Close I, that's Stupid. what I heard, too. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, did you yeah, say yeah, Philly? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I ain't crazy. All right, what about you? It is kind uh, of a country. They took some of my answers on the top of my head. I'm going to have to pass. Stop the cap. Okay. What the? Okay. Here, I'll uh, answer for you. Liechtenstein. Stupid. Right, what about you? Name three countries out of the U.S., please. <laughs> three countries. The Bronx. <laughs> um, somebody said Peru. Um, Honduras. Uh, Uruguay. Uh... I don't know, Istanbul. Come on, you gotta come on, come on, come on. Country, you said right? Istanbul? Yeah. That's the city in the country though. <laughs> what, yeah, country what, what country is it? Country. What country is Istanbul in? Come on, you know this. Come on. Yeah, what am I eating on Thanksgiving? Come on, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Turkey. Yeah. Uh, he gave her <laughs> yeah, that was... okay. Jesus Christ. Um, what about you? Spain, Jamaica, Hungary. Good. Okay. France, Saudi Arabia, Croatia. All right. Okay. okay. Dominican Republic, South Korea, and um, Oh, okay. So, do you want to name three countries now before you make this panel look bad? Come on, you can do it. I gave you one, Liechtenstein. I'm, I'm actually impressed. Oh, my mind's going blank. Me too. I'm actually impressed. On. Now you have to name Eastern yeah. European, <laughs> Eastern Bloc. I'm actually impressed. And you want to be in control of the relationship. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Estonia, so, okay, and Romania. So, Romania. Yeah. so I, I'm actually impressed because I thought. Oh, Fripp, you're all going to get it wrong, but you got it right. So I'm actually yeah. first panel yeah. where... First panel, uh, that's pretty awesome. Well, actually, no, no, she fucked it up because she couldn't name Most it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. haven't had a full yeah. panel yet to name it. we have okay. only OnlyFans graduate. Okay. Um, Rare W. OnlyFans so, University. So, so all of you guys... I OnlyFans too. Come on. Don't so do that. Most of you guys don't want to forfeit the power, right, of Instagram, but the reality is you want a man to be in charge. So how does that make sense? And you all acknowledge that a man needs to be in charge for the relationship to work. So wouldn't it make sense that he probably knows what's better for you and saying, yo... You putting yourself out there on social media probably isn't conducive to a good relationship, especially since we know a woman can replace a man faster than he can replace her yeah. through social media. I agree. And girls create scenarios in their head, as you would say. I agree. Through your own words. Yes. Yeah. All right. Fair ah, that's and, then, God, and then you had something mm -hmm. uh, that you wanted to ask. So question. Well, this question well, better be good. You kept it trying well, to interrupt. Yeah, because like, well, what do you think I use my Instagram for? Like, I keep in touch with the world, like with news and stuff. I don't watch the mm -hmm. news. I like follow pages that give mm -hmm. me the world news. I keep up with family, with long distance okay. friends. No pictures on your TikTok or your Instagram, whatever it is. Black <laughs> out screen and you just use it to monitor the news. Yeah. Alert, alert, alert That's fine. I'll do that. Yeah. I have a proof. I don't even use my main. I have a proof for that. <laughs> okay, so uh, all this time, I got to So, so hold on. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You just told us earlier that you would choose social media over your man, and you choose a private social media no, account over I'm, man. No, I'm explaining to you what my social media is used for. I would give up my main page if that makes a man more comfortable. Then sure, I'm we willing that, to do we it. You said that earlier. No. No, I said I didn't know because I had to think about all social media like Facebook, TikTok. Who am I going to talk to on TikTok? You know? You know they have DMs on there, right? You have to have, yeah, you have to but, be friends to DM them. Yeah, yeah you I have mean, to be friends. But still, but there's still DMs. Like, I mean, he can monitor if it's that serious. He see, and I don't password. think women understand how serious it is. Like, yo, when you entertain another man, that is cheating, ladies. Like, I agree. I agree. I agree. That's, That's true. And, and, and yeah. I would say, like, it, it, I'll take it a step further. I think if a girl is showing her body on the internet and she has a man at home, 
that is cheating as well. Especially think, when you sexualize yourself. That's disrespectful to the man. Okay. I think if you explain it to her and she continues to do it, then that's where I that's believe it's cheating. That's the problem. You shouldn't have to explain it. Think about this for a second. Let's say me and you go out on a date or me and you are seeing each other. Do you need to explain? Do I? Do you need to explain to me that I need to protect you if someone robs you? Well, I mean, people No, are, no hold on, hold on. Answer the question. Okay. Do you need to explain to me if we're out and someone grabs your purse? Do you need to explain to me that I need to go ahead and do something to go ahead and retrieve that purse for you and protect you? No. Well, I personally, I would tell you not to go after it. Cause but it, do you need to explain to me to protect you as your man? Personally, you so know. So why the hell should I have to explain to you just to not be a slut on the internet? Because people aren't aware of what they're doing at times. Sometimes they think like it it, it could be for their job. Oh, I'm not aware that I'm being a pussy not protecting you. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> what if that guy turned around and shot you? But your that, life but, is worth that purse? No, no, no. But that but what I'm trying to say though is that we don't have an issue with telling men this is what you're supposed to do, this is how it is. We hold men to standards. What I'm arguing is that we don't hold women to standards. I'm pretty yeah, women get held to pr uh, pretty high standards. What standard? Well, like just in general, like OF University, that, that's her livelihood. She's making mm -hmm. money off of that. And you guys use it to joke on it. And sure, it's funny, but you don't know why she's doing it. And if you explained it to her, then she'd be like, oh, okay, well, maybe I can go another route. It's not just because she wants to be a whore. It's because it's her livelihood. Well, I mean, there's other ways to make money, too. That's true. But after you explain it to her, she could explore those options and those routes. <laughs> but why should I have to explain it to her is the point. Because some men are okay with it. Are you going to explain to me how to read your mind? She can't read your mind. This is this is the this is the thing. But you guys expect us to read your mind. You expect us to be charming, I charismatic. Don't. You're making assumptions mind. on what I want. No, I don't. Most I like women to... do. We're talking about most women. Most women, do. but you know, there's exceptions to everybody and everything. You can't make an argument for an exception. Oh, to the you rule. know what? In <laughs> I know general, what wants, okay, uh, okay, women I'll have go with it. I'll very go with high it. standards. Most of the women here describe the guy in the top one or less than one percent of men. So literally, your own peers around you here, right? Describe a rare guy that they want, right? Even the guy that you want is above average. So what I'm saying yeah. is that most women demand quite a bit and expect the guy to understand, but they don't necessarily understand or comprehend on their end. And worse yet, they're unwilling to change. Wait, I mean, but that's what we say we want. But how many of us have dated broke men? How many of us have dated men that we've had to build up to have our standards raised? But I think that's partially because of the delusional calculator. Like it's because those men that you were looking for didn't exist. The men <laughs> that you thought were ideal and that's what you ended up with. But I want to I want to bring up one thing really quick. Do you understand as a woman, you can have average IG, average IG, and you will get a ton of attention. Yeah. If a man does not have an excellent Instagram, like pictures of, of his paddock watch and his Rolls Royce where he's traveling and all this kind of stuff. Fresh. He looks he looks he looks and like a little a, dog. He looks yeah, like a human trafficker. He looks <laughs> like for, men, for a man, <clears throat> for a man, <clears throat> average is trash. For a woman, average, you're still going to get a ton of attention. That's you a good point. Yeah, yeah, average average average. Average. Like, average. like, like yeah. investment What's per time. Like, guys, real oh, quick, we're going to break this down. Oh, real quick. Okay. Guys, yeah. guys, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. Oh, Stop the show. Oh, Stop the show. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna expose her on Rumble, guys. Yes, come no. Rumble right now, guys. Come on over. No, Leave buddy. YouTube. Come on, but, but before we do that, yeah. one more party. Yeah, uh, one more party, guys. Um, tickets are on sale. Um, we got the venue locked. Yes. All right. Yes. Um, we got ticket. Here's the thing: we aren't we won't be able to host as many people as we thought. So the tickets are even more exclusive now, man. Yeah. I think, what two fifty cap? Yeah. So, um, yeah, guys, get the tickets now while you can. The party's gonna be on January fourteenth. And uh, there's 44 we tickets have 44 left. tickets left. Oh, and shit. Really? That's it. Got there's no one? exceptions. Wow. That one's accounted for, and the rest are going to be girls. So it's what it is. And at the same time, man, your boy Fresh came through with a W. Chris. We got the venue. No, good, yeah, good. It's, it's the Twitter you got to get yeah. out. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But this uh, wasn't here earlier. Oh, no. It's fine. It wasn't? Actually, no, no, never mind. It's fine. No, it was there, Chris. It, it. No, no. It, yeah, it was. It was. It was there. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's been there. So, all right, guys, come on over to uh, to Rumble right now. Rumble.com slash Fresh and Fit. Parties, uh, get, uh, buy the tickets. And, uh, yeah, come on over to Rumble right now.